Crazy Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. We got uh, six lovely, no, five lovely ladies on the panel. Two, three, four, five. We got five lovely ladies on the panel. And uh, we about to have an amazing show. Hey, it's Thursday late night and y'all up rocking with us. So uh, actually, audience, I always have mic issues. So put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Put a two in the chat if you can't hear me. So again, one in the chat if you can hear me. Two in the chat if you can't hear me. Oh, I can hear myself. So we Gucci. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's get in with intros, starting with you. Name, my, age, and where you from? My Peace. name is... You good? Go. My name is Ayla. I'm 22. Where I'm from, right? I'm yeah. from Jersey. 22, Jersey. What you do for a living? I work at a physical therapy clinic. Physical therapy. Uh, fun fact about yourself. Um, I played soccer all throughout college. You played soccer? Were you good? Yeah. What college did you go to? Drew University. Drew. Someone look up her stats. My assistant <laughs> looked her stats back there to see if she was good. Uh, and ease. I need you on a switchy, switching it equally when people are talking. Um, cool. And relationship status? Single. Single. Uh, and welcome back. You was here last time. Yes. Were you last time or in a relationship? Single. Still single. Okay, <laughs> got you. Uh, moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? I'm Wu. I'm 22, and I'm from Jersey. She went to Wu. <laughs> not the little one. The big, not the yeah, little the one. Little okay, Wu. And I'm sorry, you said your age was? 22. 22. Cool. Um, and fun fact about yourself? Um, I can draw. You could draw? Mm-hmm. Well, we gonna this studio is a little empty. I need a picture <laughs> right here behind me. I can draw. You gonna hook yeah. me up? Uh we gonna talk after you. this. You got me. And um, what do you do for a living? I'm a lash tech. I'm a medical assistant, and I do real estate. Dang, you got more jobs than a Mexican. <laughs> lash <Look>. tech. <laughs> what you said? Medical I'm assistant. Like, yeah. Medical assistant. And you did what? You drive trucks? Real estate. Oh, real estate. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I thought you mow lawns. Hey, shit. Somebody <laughs> offer me some money, I could. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll and uh, relationship status? Single. Single. How long you been single for? A little bit over a year now. A little bit over a year? Mm-hmm. And wait, you said you're 22? Okay, you looking for a relationship? Absolutely, Absolutely not. That's the last one. Oh, you love the last one because you want to be in these streets. <laughs> the, street, the streets don't do me. The streets do me good, you know? Oh, they do you good? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> they do me better. Uh, name, age, and where you from? I'm Kay. I'm 24. I'm from Jersey. Kay, 24 from Jersey. What do you do for a living? I'm a tattoo artist and a florist. Tattoo artist and a florist? Yes, I'm a florist. Okay, cool. Like you be doing floors? Like uh, flowers. <laughs> Baby. Oh, exotic florist. florist. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Did any? Well, I'm the only dumb no, one. No, I think I, yeah, you, I think that? you. I think you are. I think everybody got no, that. No, I need mm-hmm. people to agree with me and say that. they didn't understand. Um, and fun fact about yourself. Um, I'm artistic. You are artistic, I'm so artistic. you could draw like. I can draw. I could paint. I could color. I could trace everything. Okay, <laughs> you could do all of that. <laughs> trace. <laughs> You do tattoos? I do tattoos. I do. Okay. I'm a tattoo artist. Okay. Why right. didn't you say that? I did. I said oh. a tattoo artist and a florist. Oh, you did say that. I did okay. Say that. All right. Well, you're more on point than I am <laughs> in this moment. Uh, relationship status? I'm single. How long you been single for? Almost a year. Almost a year. Okay. A little bit over, maybe. Cool. Um, name, age, where are you from? I am Brandy, and I am from uh, Trenton, New Jersey, T Town. <laughs> um, and my age, I'm right. Yeah, age, age. I'm 28, and yeah. Okay, and you say you're from Trenton. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Trenton. Cool. Cool. And uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I work for the state of New Jersey. Um, I issue permits, so if anybody needs, you know turn up a little bit have alcohol <laughs> um i'm a hairstylist a mobile hairstylist so i travel um and yeah okay you make cool. music yes 
I you make, make music. Music. music yeah. uh, can you rap or sing? I do everything. You want to spit a bar? Absolutely. We got. We got. <laughs> right you, now. you gotta prove it. You gotta prove yeah. it. Exactly. You gotta show. Us can we hear a little Doctor Seuss? Can, we get, a, can we get a bar or like a, a, a Mariah Carey vocal? Ooh, like a hymn. We can get a hymn. Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. no she not. She's not. Like a me. Pa solo. No. <laughs> okay. <Bloody> and <laughs> <laughs> relationship status. I am single. Single. How long you been single for? For about a year and some change. Year and some change. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving right along, yourself. Name, age, and where you from? My name is Bella, aka the Real VV on Instagram. I'm 22, and I'm from Jersey. Ooh, you know she's spicy because she's the only one I gave out her Instagram. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> straight to she the point. She that right out. Back. Okay. Okay, and uh, what do you do for a living? I am a full time lash tech. I also work at the hospital. Uh, I'm an influencer and a content creator. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, relationship status. I'm big booed up. <laughs> you big booed up. How long you been booed up for? Uh, I think like two years, three years. Oh, he in the back? Yeah, here. Oh, this big nigga booty. here. <laughs> we got a relationship for. <laughs> I, I think it's two years. Two years? Yeah, two. Maybe uh, and his mind, he's like, well, nah, it's, it's been, not two years. It's been since since I hit it. Depending <laughs> on how long you made me hit the hit. It's been a while. It's been time been flying. Okay, been Kigo, he said three years. See, you slipping up. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, fair enough. And uh, we what, got a special what, guest. Hold on, why didn't you ask me my fun fact? I thought you said your fun fact. You, you didn't ask me a fun you fact. You do an Instagram. And you know what? You threw mad stuff out. I thought you was fun no. already. Fun fun, all right. My fun fact is I made 30k on OnlyFans in less than a year. Period. Okay. Okay. That was real fun. Okay. Right. 30k in a year. Okay. O O F. Uh, fun fact about yourself. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. I know how to paint. Um. How come all y'all painters and artists? And... Look, it's just a generation of creativity, baby. Exactly. If you don't get it, you don't get it. If you know, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, hey, we got a special guest on a podcast today. Let Ooh. my man introduce himself. Round of applause for the special guest. My name is Giovanni Fonte. Um, all right. Matt, all right. My man. My man mm -hmm. came all the way out here from Massachusetts to rock on a podcast with us today. And uh, I'm going to leave it for the ladies uh, before I get into any questions. But do y'all have any starter questions I want to get into? Anyone? Um, <clears throat> you look like you got something <laughs> on your mind that you want to say. Hey, wait, go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to wait? Start it off. You can start it off. We can start it off. Okay, let's just start it off very general because I don't know you ladies and you don't know us and it's our first time on a podcast. So um, let's start with you. <laughs> and uh, we just going to go with uh, what's your ideal man? Height, race, and income. I got to write my black man. <laughs> black, black excellence and height um definitely six and up six is a little short for me i'm five ten so <laughs> it's not really short but yeah six and up okay and what else income uh, yearly income i mean i don't really get involved with all of that i mean you're 28 nice. you should be involved with all of that <laughs> yes respectfully yes uh but definitely at least a hundred thousand oh okay okay yeah. damn and you said oh, Bella yeah. is your name, right? Yeah. Bella. And okay, your that's how we get into all of that. <laughs> your ideal man, Bella. Um, Height, race, and income. My ideal man. Um, I love me an African American king. Okay. Um, what is the question? Wait, what? Um, so you said Afri so yeah. black and then height? Height, at least taller than me. I'm five four, so taller than you. a lot of room. Cool. And um income? Income. Um, maybe like minimum 70k. Okay, fair enough. My nigga, you making that back there? <laughs> <laughs> he, he said it, he shook his head. He said he good. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's move it right along to you. Um, ideal men, height, race, and income. Okay, height taller than me. I feel like that's not hard to accomplish. Wait, um, what was your last boyfriend's height? Six foot. And what was the boyfriend's height before that? Maybe like five ten. And what before was that was like five eight. Okay. Women normally like to date up. Let's say your height preference is six foot. You probably don't want to go back. But how could I tell if he's six foot? You mad you little. Can. You are like 4'11", right? Fair enough. And a half. 4'11 and a half. So what's your minimum? Height-wise? Yeah. Maybe like 5'6". Okay, cool. Um, race? I feel like it's more about how we connect. Like if we vibe rather than like a specific race. So I got a dot on their head, on my head, and they call me Ahmed. Okay, no, gotta, but like... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then the race. Yeah. What, 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 man. I'm, I'm store, man, I'm fucking with a man. I'm thinking about me a fucking gas station. I ain't gonna lie. I never know, right? Shit. Okay. Oh, we got you, got you. We'll get into it. Um. So race, what's your preferred race? black okay and then financials um i don't have a certain amount as long as you're making like at least minimum wage to where you can support yourself thirty five thousand dollars a year that's minimum wage damn that's you nothing. were quick with the numbers um, for, it could be lower it has to yeah. minimum it wage so it's 17 minimum 17 17 times yeah, nah, nah, because, well, minimum wage, right? Minimum wage is the minimum wage a company can pay you. Which is so what? it does it vary does. state to state. It sure does. Yeah. So what, what you, like 35, 40? 35, 40. As what long as does? you can like support yourself, then I feel like you're good. Fair enough. Woo, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> ideal man, height, race, income. Um. Well, I'm just going to add to everybody else. You know, I'm going for a black man. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. <laughs> um, height, you gotta be at least six four and over. Six four. Yeah. Shit, she out here dating NBA players. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. If you know, you know. Pull me nah, off if, you really, if you do really if you know, know her, you know. know. Right. We know. Oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> and then um. Wait, what was the height? Did you say height? NBA players over. Oh, six four and over, Dean. Maybe so. Period. Literally. No. Period. Okay. okay. And what's the income? <laughs> Um, you gotta at least make more than me. At least give me some motivation to make more money. You gotta make more than me. Well, and I'll make a five. You give me a figure. Is it fifty thousand a year, a hundred thousand a year, two hundred thousand? Minimum thing, at least say like, yeah, like seventy, eighty. Seventy, eighty thousand yeah. thousand a year. Um, cool. And what about you? Height, race, income? <clears throat> uh height is just taller than me, I guess. Uh my height or taller. I don't really go for specific heights. Um Ideal. What was how tall was your last boyfriend? Five nine, maybe. Okay, and the boyfriend before him. He was five eight. How tall seven. was the side nigga? Yo, ease. I need you on the I board. Ain't that damn side nigga. I never had no side nigga. So you never had a side dude. I'm loyal to the core. Okay, to fair enough. Team. Um, all right, cool. And uh, so you said race. Race. I don't have a specific race. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't date within. A specific race that limits me to um specific type of niggas and i like my name is Fu Yong kong pao chi <laughs> and, and, and i'm gonna be doing wang 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 okay so you're gonna eat the uh you know the uh chicken and <laughs> whatever I mean, what, with the egg roll and whatever okay fair she enough. said she is judging. going to one of those Just, places on the he, list if he treat me right and he he got the means to carry shit he gonna carry shit don't matter what race he is and that's okay. her friend i'm gonna be there eating you're gonna eat yeah, too we all eating bitch yep. with my, my nigga make a chinese for dinner where y'all at mm -hmm. they be like, where you at? Woo, i'm in china <laughs> <laughs> and that part. uh what about income Income, I also don't have a specific income. Um, I think as long as you are striving to be better every day, uh, I don't judge. As long as you're not broke. I have to feel like it's a difference between a broke mentality and a broke-ass nigga, you know? Okay, mm -hmm. so what if he's making... You have something? Realistically, yeah. if he's if he stays compla complacent, then it becomes, a, it becomes an issue. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes. I don't have an ideal income. Whatever he making, I'm rocking through. 
if he making fucking fifty k a year, but he's still we still happy at the end of the day, we happy. That's what matters to me. We happy. If we absolutely, that's progress. Is that not progress? Right. I would be okay with it either way, as long as we happy. That's what matters to me. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I'm a. I'm, listen. Work within your means. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. But I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna rock with you. Cause you solid all the way through. Solid people last. Okay. Hard times Ooh. don't. Um, you had a question, right? So, which one of your preferences is the most important and the least important? So, the one that you're like, I'm not budging on this, and the least one would be. And do you want them to add like anything else to their preference too, like their number one preference, or you just want to stick with those three: height, race, income. Stick with those three. Got you. Um, let's start. We started here. Let's start here. Um, okay, we said race, financials, and height, right? So what's what my do you language? prioritize? We'll ask you. We will add one. Ooh, <laughs> good one. Right. Just throw um, in the world pool. Throwing some spice in there. <laughs> so, so instead of race, why don't we replace that with looks? Because that's kind of like yeah, yeah, race is. Yeah, they was a little. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I like that. So you got those four right. then. So okay. you got height, race, income, and looks. Can I explain on what I answered? Though? Absolutely. Okay. So I'm gonna say, because what I would pick as my number one that's important, we didn't have as an option. So I'm gonna say financials because I think that you should always strive to be better. Um, so I think for me, stability is very important. So I want my man to be stable financially so that we can then grow together. Um, my so financials first is, is the one. most important. Yes. And then what's the least? For the least, I guess I'm going to say uh, height for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Right. But I don't, so I don't want somebody who doesn't have like motivation to be better than where they are. So if they're making like 30 K a year, okay, that's where you're starting off, but I'm going to push myself to be better. So you have to also push yourself to be better. Right. Stability. Mm. No, cause I, we're in a relationship. So it's 50, 50. Mm. It's not. That's how it should be. I feel like right. that's how I want it. I want us to do it together. Right. So you want the man to take the lead? Just... No. Mm. So, 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 why does he have to take the lead? Because he's a man. What do you mean by take the lead? Like mm-hmm. Do you want that or no? He needs to lead to carry, like in a sense that you know when you call your dad. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. But I, I also feel like we should, like, I'm not going to be with somebody who I have to tell to right. do that. Here. If that makes she sense. She want to wear the boxers in a relationship. She want to be the man in a relationship. <laughs> well, I just, I, Come on, actually. <laughs> doing things my own way. So I'm my own independent self and he can be his own independent self, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. I guess in some areas, yes, but I also just feel like I. I'm very particular. Like I like to do things my way. I don't like people telling me what to do. Can so, I? So, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. So I feel like even if I don't have a man, I'm gonna do what I want to do. Like either way, whether there's a man there or not. But that's not how I'm living. Right. right. Yeah. Not in a disrespectful way. Like if I'm in a relationship, obviously I'm gonna respect our relationship. But meaning like my goals in life and like my career, no one's gonna stop me from getting to where I want to be. But when it comes to like going out, if I'm with a man, I'm not going to be going out to the club every day. Like there's respect levels. Can I add something? Can I add something?
Mm. If I'm in a relationship, I'm willing to compromise. So if you did say, I never said I won't change. Mm. As far as my career, yes. Right. So that would depend. It would depend because I would talk to my man. Like if I want this career, I need, I'm not, but that's the thing. Like I'm not going to be with somebody who won't support me though. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Your career. The family. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So many women are older. Mm -hmm. Okay, one second. Got it. You got a bell? Oh, it fell. Oh, it fell. Hey, chat. Put a one in the chat if um you could hear him better now. Speaking of mic. Hello, Tustin. Tustin. All right. Can y'all hear him better now? Uh, keep speaking. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Put a one in the chat if you could hear him. Put a two in the chat if you can't. Okay, one's in the chat. Okay, hey, let me check YouTube. Did they not hear anything that I said? <laughs> okay, that was ones. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they can hear you. Okay, okay. Um, let's let's summarize this up because they had a hard time hearing the audio. From and life. I think it was on, uh, it was on both, both. of y'all, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we had a good conversation. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was a good discourse. Yeah, so you. sum it up real quick. <laughs> it was a good, uh, it was a little audio issue. I think where we left, we left off was, you know, what was more important to her? Uh, a relationship. What, what would she prioritize? A relationship or a career? And she said she would have trouble, you know, prioritizing family and giving up her career because she wants to do things her way. I think that's just the what we did right okay gotcha yeah so it was a little back and forth between them um y'all want to finish that up yeah. i think it was good discourse go ahead so we i think we left off with prioritizing your career yes right and i said that you've never had a man that stepped up in every level to the point where you don't have to step up and take roles that are his responsibilities right. that you've been with men where you've had to step up in areas mm -hmm. because they lacked in those areas and what i'm saying is if you meet a man that's you know good in every area right. are you willing to take the back seat put your career aside and prioritize what you know women are biologically wired to do and that's you know create family every girl young girl wants to grow up have a good man marry him create a family have children yeah so if you have that good man that's stepping up and providing for you and leading in every aspect that you you want mm -hmm. are you going to prioritize that over your career because no. you said you don't want to change. You're going to pursue your career over everything. Yes. If I had a man who was doing everything that you're saying for me, then in that situation, I would prioritize my family. But okay. yeah. if you don't have that, then I have to look out for myself. So at what point would a man have to, like, what would a man have to show for you to be like, okay, I'm going to take a step back in my own career, in my own life, and I'm going to pro prioritize you the family and kids, or at least the goal of a family and kids. Hmm. I honestly feel like I can't say because I haven't experienced yeah, that. Yeah, and that's what I wanted Fair to put enough. in, too. Right. Um, she never experienced a real nigga. She never experienced <laughs> a real masculine <laughs> man. Right. That's gonna, you know right. what I mean? Like, and go take care she's of like, you. oh, yeah, I don't really listen to dudes. Take my hand. <laughs> she listened to me, see? It's very easy. <laughs> if, if you that nigga, she gonna listen. So I'll like to add on to that. <laughs> oh, you go ahead, add on to it. Because, you know, even if you did meet a quote unquote real nigga, a real man, you know, again, most modern women still wouldn't, yeah. you know, put their career to the side. They're going to prioritize yeah. their career because there's this fear mind state that heaven forbid, you know, I dedicate everything to him. I submit to him. I give him everything and he leaves me. Yes. 
right? That's yes. the yeah. don't get your bad girl. Yeah. Focus on you because a man's not always guaranteed yes. to be there. He's going to yeah. cheat on you. He's not going to be loyal, etc. Absolutely. But what women don't understand. Men have the same equivalent yeah. fear. What happens if I spend my entire life building myself yeah. up? working you know Providing. hour after hour networking put in a non-stop effort you know sleepless nights and then i marry you and for no reason at all you just like yeah hey, i'm not happy today i'm mm-hmm. gonna leave you and I'm, I'm gonna take all your money yep so it's like okay we both have risk here there's mm-hmm. both fear mm-hmm. but again it's about trusting that man trusting that woman and i think that's what is a huge problem in today's society yes. is that women don't trust men mm-hmm. and men damn sure don't trust women <laughs> so that is 100 percent real shit a lot like that is just you explain that so perfectly but it's women all- and men have a both have a lot to put on the line. Yes. We have a lot to risk and we have a lot of sacrifices we put on the line together. So I feel like a lot of people forget that we're both in it and we could lose something. So mm-hmm. Absolutely. High risk, high reward. If right you, now. You got to think. It's a dream. It's a privilege to meet a man, a man. or a woman that is, you know, meshable yeah. with you. Mm-hmm. You guys are mm-hmm. meant to be together. And on top of that, you get married. Yeah. You have kids. You have family and you create a legacy. Yeah. That is a dream. Mm-hmm. That is a gift from God. It is. You understand? So just value that. You know but, what I'm saying? Yeah. The ri- the reward outweighs the risk. Absolutely. But you have to you have to have the trust there. But yeah. that piggybacks off so, of trust though, too, you, as well. You have to be with a man who you trust enough to carry shit. Like I said, you should be able to feel like you could call your man before you call your dad, yo pops, I got a flat tire. Your man should be in replace of that and be like, no, nah, I'm calling my man. I ain't got to call my fucking dad. <laughs> you ain't at home with my mom. Like, you have no, I'm call- have no problem taking yeah. risk for their career. Absolutely not. But so, men don't either, I feel like, in a sense. Men take risks all every day. Yeah, we take risks every yeah, day. His point is that taking yeah, his point is that women don't have a problem taking risk with a job. Like, literally, that job can fire you at yeah. any time. That's a risk. It's very risky. But they have a problem with taking risk with a man. So that's the comparison there. Men are not leading. Men are wanting to you provide as well. Men are wanting. Men are running fifty fifty now. They're wanting. Well, what what the fuck are you bringing to the table? So look, back then it was traditional. Reason why is because none of y'all virgins. No, virgins. What the fuck are you? you, If that's how you feel, then you are in a a fucked up mindset. Because it don't got nothing to do with virgins. It don't have nothing. That has a lot to do with it. It don't. It don't. I'll tell you why. You want a woman who 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 been closed for fucking twenty five years, but you fucking the city, but you you didn't fuck the whole city, and you want to fuck more and <laughs> more of the city, and you want you want a woman who a virgin. It don't yeah. work like that. Let's do you be believe realistic. that? Uh, Let's be realistic. About yeah. Do you shit. believe that sex between man and a woman is the same? No, okay. absolutely not. So you know that there's a difference. Yes, I do. And do you think that there's a bigger stake in a woman being promiscuous versus a man being promiscuous? In a sense, yes. Okay, sense, cool. But, but also, that's not realistic. Let's be well, realistic no, here. No, Let's be not, realistic here. That's not Let's my point. Here. That's not, not my point. Talk about, we're not, yeah, that is your point, though. You're yeah, so about look, look, one mic at a time, so what? I can make my point. What? I spoke and then you cut me off. So what I'm saying is the reason why is because you said, oh, men aren't leading and stuff like that. What is leading? Leading is... He has masculinity, he has a certain frame about himself, and he's a go-getter, ambitious, and he's making something of himself to provide me a future, right? That's something that all women want. That's like, it's embedded in you. It's like, it's a natural propensity that's in you. It's just in your nature to want that. And guess what's in the man's nature? To provide. (laughs) No, no, no. For the woman. (laughs) What do we want from the woman? Like, what's that main thing we want? Loyalty. Okay. Submissiveness. She said it. It's purity. We want a pure woman, right? right? So what I'm saying is the most pure woman is a virgin, right? And then the most masculine go-getter type of man would be a man that's of your type that meets your standards, but Mm -hmm. he's making money. He's a go-getter. He could provide you a good future, right? So Uh the thing is that Women aren't getting, just said that women aren't getting because what they want because men are not masculine, they're right. weak. Right. And my point is that, well, cool, but guess what? Men aren't getting what they want to get because all y'all ladies is in the streets. Yes. And I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. Women are not women no more. 
Absolutely. Exactly. That's but, that's, but that's but that's what I was trying to get at, at at the beginning. Women are not traditional. You know, you come home to a, a home cooked meal. You come home to a clean house. You come home to women don't want to do that no more because men are not leading. Men are not providing a space where you yeah. want to do let's that. Go I wanna... finish his question and let's go around the panel. And then um, if I you have to re-ask it because they may not. Even have heard yeah. Let's right. have you re <laughs> your question to her. <laughs> to uh, whoa. So whoa. 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 Cooley's original question was, you know, preference for height race and income and my my question to that to add on to that was which of their preferences is the the most important and the least important the one that they're not budging on and the one that they're you know willing to have leeway on and, and we then also, I also added a preference of their looks so which is most important to yeah. you and which is least important and once we get into that question a hey, uh chat i see y'all all on facebook and youtube right now we got over 200 people on facebook uh, we're going to close down a Facebook live stream shortly because the topic is going to get a little bit spicier after we go around the question right here. Um, so, yeah, everybody on YouTube. Hey, man, y'all tuning in. Yay. You want to send in a super chat and ask a question? We hear it, man. If you have any questions, send in a super chat. It could be a dollar. I don't care what you send in, <laughs> but we'll ask your question to the panel of ladies. Uh, let's go with you, Will. I think for me... Um the most important will obviously be looks. And I'd say looks is the most important because that's the first thing you notice when you notice someone. That's that's like a, a hit or miss. If you're not lust, attracted to somebody, it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be the number one for me. And the least important, I would say, would be your height. Just because I am 5'2", so most people are taller than me. Mm -hmm. I would prefer you to be over 6'4". So if you're not, don't. it's no point. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I, 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 could, I could try to let, let that slide. So you said their looks. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me if a man, you know, made good money, he was, you said you prefer black men. Mm -hmm. He was black, you know, he was tall. But, you know, he wasn't like an 8 or a 9. He was mm -hmm. a, just an average looking guy. You wouldn't do that? You wouldn't date him? Probably not, because I wouldn't know all those other characteristics if I didn't like how he looked. Mm. Mm, yeah, she said she okay. disqualified right. homie off the bat. Right. Okay. So, but that's what that's why. I feel like that's with anyone. The first thing, even when you're at the club, when you're on vacation, the first thing anybody you're with, you want to you're attracted off. to them. Mm -hmm. Now, my my eight or nine or who a guy I think might be a six might be her ten. You know so what I mean? Number, like cut off number. for what? For like no, I'm not going below that. Like a seven. Like seven, eight. A ten. If I look, if I'm attracted to you, obviously I think you're a ten. So you find mm. every man that you're attracted to a ten. I I was attracted to them. That's that's what I'm attracted to. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah girls yeah. only like girls, uh, dudes that they're not attracted to, they don't even exist. Yeah. They, <laughs> and I dudes think, in Walmart, CVS, guys that just look weird, that's socially awkward. She just don't even see those dudes. She only see the six foot four dudes, like she said. We live in right yeah. here. Everything is social media based. Yeah. Everything is based on the outside. Yeah. So if it's not appealing to the eye, it's probably not going to get much attention. Yeah. I don't know. Looks up. That's fair. Important yeah, I feel like looks is the most important. Now, second important, I would definitely say race. Mm -hmm. Just because traditionally, you know, not saying you have to mess with or date somebody that's your race. But for me, you know being in black culture and that's obviously something that I know firsthand. I think for me it's just yeah feels but, more natural. It feels more like we relate more on mm -hmm. a lot of different topics. And I think I just knowing the history of black men, like I have two older brothers. I don't have any sisters. So just knowing about black men, it's like this kind of like as a black woman, it's like a like it's a cultural. motherly instinct yes. for a man. It's I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like your mom that I want to Cater Take care to you, of you. or yeah, yeah, like I don't know what it is, but it's it's real. So, and so I don't no, fair financials right. is that the last for you? Financials, I mean, because I'm only 22, most men my age don't have financials. Okay. So, yeah. I they mean... They can take you to, like, Burger King method. and, like, Taco good Bell. Method. See, I'm not doing that. So, at that point, I just wouldn't date. I'm not going to settle. I'm just going to wait until my time. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you, so you'll let a, a fly nigga that work at Taco Bell hit it then? Mm -hmm. It's not like date you. We don't. Have that's right. That's what I got No, what? You let a fly dude look. This is what I'm saying. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. I love you let a fly dude that's six foot four. Your height preference. He's black. He's charismatic. He's charming. He got money. But he only making minimum wage. Like he ain't really making nothing too crazy. He working at uh, Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Can he hit it? No. 
Okay. What if he make a Dang. mean rap? Right. If you would. What, he makes a mean rap. Or a bold. No, what, what, what if he make minimum wage, but he also gives you everything that you want? But it's not about giving me everything that but I what want. What if he does that, though? You prioritize. This is the thing that we trying to like. And this is why he asked the question. Okay. Your pro your prioritization isn't really matching what you genuinely mm -hmm. want. You get what I'm saying? So you saying that, okay, if you prioritize looks, the guy is a 10, six foot four, mm -hmm. black, your height. I mean, your uh, preference. Money is at the end of your of your preferences, uh, at end of your uh, priorities. Okay. So why wouldn't the guy that's working at Taco Bell, that's your preference and looks, have a chance to hit? That makes sense, and I see where you're going with that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But the reason I feel like that is because, I don't know, I set a certain stand. Not I wouldn't necessarily say a standard, but I feel like... And, and, and don't get me wrong, my, I'm not saying that, like, you're going to meet him and you just going to have sex with him. Right. No, I'm saying, like, y'all going to have a chemistry. Right. Y'all going to have a vibe, and you're going to like it, like, because you're already attracted to him. My point is that, like, why would you cut that off if because, your prioritization is so, low? Give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a little intake, okay? So my ex, he worked at Whole Foods. He doesn't work there anymore, but he did. And that's okay. If that's what he's comfortable with, I'm not necessarily I saying think Whole Foods pay pretty good. They do. <laughs> but they're not paying like they're not paying they're not paying ninety K a year, you know what it's I mean? Not. Right. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna lie, and a lot of my first ex, like he didn't he never had a job. He had money. I don't know how, but he never fair had enough, a job. Fair enough. But my whole thing is, at the end of the day, like I, I don't, I'm not checking your bank account. Like, as long as you, like, I, I don't expect you to pay for. Not saying you can. Like, if you pay for me, I pay for you, whatever. But I'm not really, especially at my age. It's just like you're not really if looking I'm for it. it. It's, it's just it's like if I'm expecting, come. it's never gonna happen. Mm -hmm. If I'm expecting a guy to, mm -hmm. uh, like, going to make what I'm making, like, it just. I'm lucky to be in the position I am at the age that I am, but that's just because I did things different. But got you, got I, you. We I'm understand you. So pretty much you're place. saying that, you know, uh, you know when, I'm, when, when I'm 30, yeah, I'm going to expect your finances. Expect the finances. It's not, it's right it's now, so let's be clear. So the audience wants to know, you said that you prioritize looks, right? So what 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 is it then? Because is it, are you just looking for a vibe then? Because you said and say anything it's but looks looking. pretty much. It's what you just said was a whole bunch of like, well, if this happens and this, this, and this, this. She like, just said that her ex worked at Whole Foods, though, so she's willing to accept someone. Of but a, that's of the a, ex. A, Obviously, he's an ex for a reason. Okay, but, she's but he's willing, not an ex but because said, of where he works. Right, exactly. She said that she's willing to accept where he's working, what I don't he's agree making. With that. If he, if he's, if he <laughs> he's, he's an ex because he was cheating. cheating. That's why he's an ex. Right. <laughs> that's why he's an ex. So if he's making a million dollars a year. And he cheated just like your ex did. Would you leave that dude too? Yeah, because at the end of the day, I'm not with you because of your money. I have money. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not with anybody because of money. Nine, every, like, nine times in a lot of relationships I've been in, I was always the breadwinner. <laughs> but I don't hold you to that standard because I don't think that's fair. Because at the end of the day, I may have done something different. It's not to say you can't be where I'm at because I hope you would. I hope you would want yeah, to be. I got you. But well, I have a question. Go ahead. Have you does that kind of if you adopt that mentality because just the men that you've attracted and be, been able to obtain I've been those kind of men where they weren't the breadwinners so you've just kind of accepted like this these are the kind of men that I can get I'm sure I'm sure you can attract men that are higher caliber to sleep with you you know but I'm saying to actually commit to and be in a relationship. Well, I think the men at a higher caliber. I think whether you make a hundred k a year, you make twenty k a year. A lot of the men have the same men mentality. Mm -hmm. So I think that the money really don't make a difference. Yeah. And that's just how I feel. So at the end of the day, if I'm taking care of myself, why am I looking for somebody to take care of me financially? I just feel like that's gold digging for what? If I have money, like I'm not, I'm just not impressed. I'm not impressed by money. I got something to say. Go ahead, go ahead. You've been quiet over there. <laughs> nice I'm taking everything, but um, I, I think... Uh, the reason why financials is important, be not because it's a one sided situation, but because both parties, either men or women, should desire someone who makes a decent amount of money. Because mm -hmm. one day it could be 50 50, one day it could be 100, 1%, next day it could be yeah. 20 to. It's all about the foundation mm -hmm. and how you guys can operate off that foundation. If one day I lose my job yep. and it takes me five months to now get another job my man's got to be able to hold it down and hold what we had now started as our foundation. And, and then 
if that happens to a man and now a woman, you're a breadwinner. You mm -hmm. say I'm I would consider the same because I'm a hustler. It's more right. of my mentality than anything. Yep. Right. Um, because that I'm because. It, you know, if he loses his, his money, whatever, whatever is the case, I need to be able to now handle that. I need yep. to be able to now foot them bills <coughs> and now take care of what we have started in the yep. home. I understand so. that, but your age, right? Hold on, hold on. My age. Hold on. He's fixing. <laughs> hey, shot. I got this banging headache. I, I pray, please, God, let it go. <laughs> me? Again? Can y'all can hear me? <laughs> Put a one if you can. <laughs> Put a two if you can. Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Put a two in the chat if you can't hear me. Sure. Wow. Y'all can hear me. Hey, uh, chat. So, okay, so y'all can, y'all can hear him. Okay, perfect. So, what were y'all talking about before, saying that y'all couldn't hear him? <laughs> Keep talk again. Can y'all hear me? Testing one, two, testing. Can y'all hear him just as clear as y'all could hear me? Put a one in the chat and hear just as, hear him just as clear. Put a two in the chat if you can't hear him just as clear. Okay. So going. Uh, so it's a one. Okay, chat. Oh, I see what y'all saying. Two, he's good for now. Okay, bet, bet, bet. I see what y'all saying. So, okay. So when we're all speaking at once, then uh, it's like the the audio isn't really good i think that's that same issue um but other than that they was hearing you it was okay. just the, it was just the parts where if someone else is speaking while you're speaking they're not hearing you or even that other person too all right, so all right cool can we continue the conversation yeah yeah go ahead we can continue right, right now so let her re-say what she said your, your standpoint on it being 50 here you know 100 here you know due to your partner maybe falling up and down can yeah, you, you say that again for the chat so I can contest your argument. Basically, I mean, we kind of already yeah. said it, so I don't really, really need to repeat myself. <clears throat> you said it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if it, if someone falls short, and that's just a generalization. Like, you should be prepared for anybody to fall short, even if sometimes it don't even have to be a partnership. You could go live with a friend, and both y'all need to, you know, make money in order to hold y'all into the bargain. Now, if somebody falls short because this is where y'all you know unity is or your stability is at the moment this is what's happening somebody need to be able to pick up the pieces until that person can get on their feet mm -hmm. okay I, I don't have an issue with what you're saying i want to make that clear yeah, that's but i'm fine. saying when i say i want to contest it i want to say that it sounds like the good-hearted thing to do like the good woman thing to do to sit there and be like yeah if my man falls i'm gonna be there and i'm gonna step up but the the issue with that is it doesn't matter how good of a girl you are how <laughs> pure your intentions are at some point you're gonna be like if he doesn't pick it back up, you're going to start questioning mm -mm. him. You're going to be like, okay, you're going to start looking for better options. You're not going to just sit there and lead a man and provide for a man the same way he would for you. So it's not always going to be, oh, you know, it's 100 sometimes, 50 this time. The man always has to, you know, uh, it's part of being a man. You have to step up and, you know, carry that weight. So your woman doesn't have to. That's mm -hmm. part of being a man. You're supposed to relieve the stress of the world from your woman. <laughs> That's the problem. So many women are out here career driven, not realizing that every career woman I've ever met, and I've met a lot of them, they all to complain about the hours they work, the stress, the gossip, the drama, how drained they are. They hate it. They just deep down want a man to take care of them. So it's a man's job when he steps outside that door to take all that weight, all that stress, all those sleepless nights. So you don't have to deal with it. That's what part of being a man is and actually leading. You're taking all that stress on for her because I do not want my woman to experience anything mm -hmm. but happiness and comfort and peace inside this home so she can follow her roles while I take on the burden of conquering the world and following mine. Mm. I, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I don't even think it has anything to being a good woman or mm -hmm. not. That's just how y'all should operate as a unit mm -hmm. um, because there could be a day where somebody gets sick and they're down for a whole year. 
what you gonna do leave leave your man that you love and that you adore because he got sick right no, no you're not gonna I, do no, that I, that's I, love I that's not being res- a good i respect that person or what nothing. i'm saying is that's not the, okay and that's you okay i'm not saying you're i'm not saying you would leave i'm saying that most people they would leave at but some point you say most you can't really say most because you don't know how many women are like me or like the most that you're talking about. I can't mm-hmm. talk about the majority from just statistics of women leaving when they're unhappy, women leaving when they're out earning the man, and you know a bunch of various other things. So what I'm saying is that, yeah, it would be cool if a lot of people were like that. What I'm saying, most people aren't going, most women aren't going to sit here and provide for a man long term you're speaking through experience though most women are yeah yeah <laughs> if we're being real most women are these women all right yeah, here we were all no, 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 that's not the facts so, okay. one, so? yeah, no uh so? yeah no good thing so uh and we're how real, turn real quick before we get into we got a super chat that just came in uh bad Bassett, the Bassett sent in twenty dollars. He said, "Dark skinned sister out here dating with a male mindset. She goes for looks first. <laughs> Talking about you, Will, saying that you dating like a nigga. Well, I mean, I was raised with all men. I was raised with brothers, and I just feel like a lot of the men in this generation, especially being twenty two, like it's not like how it is when you guys were younger. Like most people had a two parent household back in the day. Where now, like a lot of the men my age were raised by single mothers, so they have a lot of women tendencies. Mm-hmm. Whereas mm-hmm. me, I was raised by a single mother, but my mom also raised my brothers, which I witnessed. So all the things men do, I seen she firsthand. Hit. All the girls they brought in the house as a like being a younger sister, I seen everything. So it's like. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah, that's going to be a nightmare for you. Game. She don't game. She don't game. She don't She don't game. All right, so let's just ask all the women on the panel. Yeah. How many of you are going to pay all the bills for a long term with a man? It depends. It's not about it long term. It depends on the situation. So, so look, yeah. just the fact that y'all got to say depends, me and him, we don't have to say depends. There's no dep- no, 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 listen, listen, because you always want to respond. I've been chilling, and this is my podcast, letting y'all go back and forth. <laughs> You're going to get a little bit of this. So this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, y'all was all going off. It depends. Well, you know, I'll pay the bills for, you know, maybe for a year or maybe for this. Y'all like trying to think about it and, and mm-hmm. contemplate on it. We don't even, those thoughts don't go in our head. When we get with a woman that we love... It's forever Mm -hmm. providing for that woman. You get what I'm saying? Like a man would really like a man would marry a woman that works at Chipotle. Right. You get what like we won't even care about what she's making as long as she's feminine, beautiful and submissive is like, Mm -hmm. okay, those are the traits that we want, you know, I'm beautiful. But a woman, on the other hand, she won't even look a dude that work at Chipotle. She won't even look his way. Like, he's invisible to her. But she just said that she would. Yeah, she didn't. She said she that did. he has no chance of getting a box. That's cap. She just no, said she, that her ex worked at Whole Foods, and she was fucking with him. It's the ex. <laughs> it's an <laughs> I, reason. I told you the reason he was an ex. It yes. has to do about where he worked. Yes. But a point I wanted to make when responding to what you had said about, you know, maybe the percentages flipping here and there, which I have experienced. And there was a time my ex did get in a car accident and I was the one working and he was out of work. But that's understandable because of what happened. But at what point, what what other things do you try? Like, are you sitting at home all day playing video games or are you trying to do other things right. to, to make up that income that you're losing? Right. And the only difference that I feel like when it comes to for you is because, you know, when you become certain ages is when you have certain expectations. And as a 22 year old, I may not have the certain financial expectations because number one, if I'm with someone nine times out of 10, we're not living together. Nine times out of 10. Okay, well, things let me help that, you out real quick to give you a pers- you mm-hmm. speaking in your perception, right? Right. Your perception is based off your interpretation of the world around you. And it's unique to you, which it means that it's limited because you're only 22. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So here's a perspective. The perspective is, is that here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you think that you, you would be your most valuable self at 22 or at 30? Because you're saying that, well, I'm just young right now, so I'm, you know, this is how I'm living and this is what I'm prioritizing. So what I'm saying is, do you think that you would be your highest value self to a man, right? Your most attractive self to a man when you're 22 or 30? 
I think based on what you said, and I agree with you, with your prior comment, I think that whether I was 22 or if I was 30, as long as I'm beautiful and I'm submissive, it doesn't matter. Yeah, incorrect. So men, <laughs> Why would you yeah, say men, that? Well, it study, studies was done on it, and the studies showed that men from ages the 18 to 60 all prioritize women Beauty. between the ages of 18 to 24, meaning that that's when men seen the most beautiful woman those mm -hmm. they lined them all up yeah those women in that age group they're the most beautiful and it's a it's natural in us it's a natural propensity for us to just like it's natural for you to want a guy that's six foot four why do you want a guy that's six foot four because it's like he could protect me you know what i'm saying like you don't know why you like attracted to I'm it attracted but it's to a biological difference yeah yeah it's it's mm -hmm. a biology thing right mm -hmm. you're attracted to that it's it's naturally in you to women to want a guy that's bigger than none of you ladies said that you'll date a short dude that's shorter than you you all wanted the guy that's taller than you. So you want men that's better than you. You want a man that's uh, bigger than you, stronger than you, and making more money preferably than you. Those are, you're looking for your superior, your superior. Mm -hmm. you, so, but why are you looking for your superior? You're looking for your superior because it's naturally in mm -hmm. you. It's your biology. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that a man's biology to look for a woman, when it comes to body shape, it's the coke figure. We look for the smaller waist with the wider hips. We look for a uh, youth and beauty. Why youth and beauty? Because that's when you're most fertile. That's when you could give us a baby. And why is it? Why do we look for the coke figure? Because women with wider hips, they, they have more successful pregnancies. That's just a fact. They have more successful practices of women with wider hips. Is that a fact? It is a fact. It's, it's, it's less complications. Nowadays... It's a lot of with, all like the, C -sections with all the doctors and stuff like that. that. It's C-sections and everything. So it's much easier mm -hmm. to have a kid. But when she got from wider hips? thousands of years ago, it was always the wider hips. Because you'll definitely be able to carry my kid. So it's a biology thing is what I'm saying, right? Mm. So the facts is that you are your most attractive right now. So since you are the, your most attractive right now, you should be prioritized. You should... You said, well, I'm prioritizing looks because, you know, I'm young right now. Well, you should change your prior your prioritizations to what you would think it would be if you're older. Mm -hmm. And you already said that it would be mm -hmm. if you're older. Well, yeah, when I'm older, I'll be looking for, you know, like finances. My point is that you should be looking for those things now. now. Yes. Because you are your hottest self. You 22, boo. Mm -hmm. Every yeah, year. 22 again. <laughs> look, every year. Look, here, here's what it is. I'm going to say it to you. Every year you meet a guy uh, just, as life goes on wrinkles isn't going to come yet we know that black doesn't crack right but you're going to experience more so maybe you're going to take more trips maybe you're going to get more dick maybe you're just going to do more things right. so the more you do that's uh because men we prioritize inexperience so the more you do the less a man can do for you that will wow you because when a man gets with a woman we want to wow the girl so say now you 28 years old you've been to cancun you've been to dubai you done had a 10 incher you done had a four incher <laughs> you done so now you know what you like you done had all these different experiences so now you 28 and it's like none of these niggas is measuring up you know why because you done had everything and most people won't meet those standards so you might as well settle when you're at your prime because men we want inexperienced women does that make sense and correlate i mean it makes sense but regardless of the t statistics I, I would never settle we know and women won't settle <laughs> and the reason I I'm not saying that, don't settle. Yeah. I'm saying that you change your priority your priorities. I think, like I think if I'm being realistic, if I if I'm looking for financials now, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna find it. I'm not gonna find a 22 year old that has the financials. <laughs> You're of, looking for a 22 year old. Well, what I'm saying, mm. but my thing is for me, and this is my preference, and everyone may be different, but. Being a younger sister, and I'll uh, tell you no lie, I will never, ever, ever look for someone that's older than my brother. It makes me uncomfortable. How old is your brother? My brother is 26. 26? Yeah. It makes you uncomfortable? Yeah, I don't know what it is, and especially as a black... You've been traumatized when you were young? <laughs> no, it just makes me uncomfortable. Okay. It just reminds me of like, oh, this could be like one of my brother's friends. Like, it's just, it's just weird to me, especially like... I don't know. I was raised. You young. You'll get out of that mindset. Yeah. Uh, well, but, yeah. Um, right now, yo, it just makes me that, So we on Facebook right now. Uh, it, we got like <laughs> uh, 200 people on Facebook, over 200 people on Facebook right now. We're going to close out the Facebook stream. Everyone on Facebook, come over to YouTube. The conversation about to get a little bit more spicy. We got my man Giovanni in here. He'll give knowledge to the game, to the girls. Giovanni. And, uh, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, podcast lit right now. So we closing out the Facebook stream. We leaving YouTube open. YouTube. Don't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Facebook, we closing it out now. So everyone on Facebook, go over to YouTube. It's No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. Um, and uh, Giovanni, I'll let you go ahead and finish up with the question. Because she... Oh, yeah. So yeah, we yeah. haven't even gotten... We ain't even get through it yet. Yeah. yeah. So it's on you. So what would be your most important preference and the least important preference for you? Uh, my post, most important preference, I guess, would be personality. Um, oh, we didn't even add that. But. Yeah, I'm not, not really hype. I don't give a fuck about that hype money. That don't really matter. Uh, yeah, I guess my least important would be uh, looks, maybe hype. I guess. So you're okay with being with an average dude who makes average money? If I'm ha- average height. If I'm happy, absolutely. Why would I? Why would I? If don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like if if he making me happy, if we doing everything that we can and he doing and he's providing and he's doing plenty for himself, why would I go anywhere else? What would be my point? He's a good man. I got a good man at home, Savannah. (laughs) Look, I can't even argue that. I'm not leaving. Yeah, Yeah, most women don't. You know what I'm saying? Listen, look, I'm solid through and through. As as long as you're solid, like I said, as long as you got that hustle mentality, it's not a problem. Y'all average men, y'all have a shot. (laughs) <laughs> if you're an average man i guess if an average man making money that don't make a man average if he's making average money if he doing everything that he can if he's carrying shit that don't make a man average just because he making average money that don't make him an average I'm man just talking about money I'm talking about you said looks. yeah i mean like what, what, what is looks you can grow fond of someone you can be a friend you can have a friendship with someone you can grow fond of someone after a while you can that you can be attracted to someone their personality makes them more attractive Absolutely, we're gonna sit here sure. and say that an ugly nigga could be more attractive if he funny. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let him be funny. He's funny as hell. Like, you know? per- personality. That's just the vibe. You want a man to be charismatic. I want a man to lead. I want a man to care. Charismatic, yeah. A romantic, yeah. I want a man to lead. Like I said, I want a man that I have to call and be like, "Yo, can you fix this for me? Can you do this for me?" I don't even gotta call on nobody else because I know that you here. You got my back 150. percent And then what you doing for that man? Everything. I'm catering to you. I'm being submissive. I'm being honest. I'm being loyal. I'm being everything. Everything everything that you will want in a woman, I'm being. You're being it. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, you can't really argue anything. You like, can't. Hey, you can. that. No, She's going to do everything. Right. She want her man to do everything. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, moving right along. Same question for yourself. Um, so uh, the parts are prioritizations. So it's uh, height, race, income, and looks. Um, what is going to be your top priority and your least priority? Well, um, for me, we don't ha- we didn't have this in the uh, category, but spirituality. Um, but let's just stick with the four. I mean, we she kind of said personality. Yeah, though. yeah. She we let it's that go like, just because. Uh, just because yeah. she was like none of them really matters. She just, yeah, she, she not like something. Just feel like that's not realistic. Like we have to be realistic. There's gonna be flaws with everybody. You might not be the best looking dude, but do he treat you right? Yeah. Do he carry shit? But that falls in line with what I'm saying. If somebody okay, let's go with that. We'll we'll give you an anchor too. Spirituality. Spirituality. All right. What's what is spirituality? He believes the moon and the suns and the stars, <laughs> or does he have a religious standpoint? <laughs> <laughs> Discipline, morals, your structure. Does he believe in you. Jesus Christ or Muhammad? Right. Either. I mean. Whatever works for whatever perception, but it has to be what equally yokes you two together. Um, I think that we worry about what we can bring to the table, but we don't worry about if the table is sturdy enough yeah. to c- carry everything mm-hmm. that you you willing to put on there. Yeah. Um, we gotta we gotta understand that sometimes it could be something that you really really like, and you know that this is somebody that you want to be with, but that person carry different traumas. You mm-hmm. gotta know how to sometimes be a. Uh, be a um um a psychologist sometimes mm-hmm. you got to know how to be able to talk to these people y'all got to know how to communicate back and forth and you, you got to be able to, he got to be willing and, and the, the woman has to be willing so that's why i said spirituality because it has to be a compromise on both ends okay, and i think so that's morals so yeah. you want a man you want yes. a union under god is that what you're saying an ethical it, it, man something the foundation is based foundation on needs to have exactly okay. because if it, i mean if you don't really believe in something then you stand for anything. Yeah. Yeah, thank mm-hmm. you. You stand for nothing, exactly. So, that, that's that's really my point. Like, and then what's your lease prioritization? Um, financials. Yeah. I know I said a Any high amount. Lady that says financials. So, 
I, I, that's just because it's what we prioritize. And I, I get what y'all saying, but the reality is yeah. if a dude can't take care of you and you got to be the one that's taking care of the dude, you're not going to stay. You're not going to stay. But yeah. this is the thing. This is the thing. I'm not saying that it's not important. That's why it's the top. It's but the it's not it's something that I'm going saying. to. Yeah. Right. It's the least only because of the simple fact that things are never Mm -hmm. Things are always up solid. and down. It's yeah. not like financial isn't something that's solid. Yeah. That's something that you could try to grow. And sometimes you can lose that right then and there. You know what I'm saying? So that's not really a stable. Mm -hmm. You can't depend on financials unless you got like, you know, a job where you do get hurt or something. And now you got a pension to pull out of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But it's still it has to. It's cool to start off and have yeah, a foundation with that. that. You can't depend on financials. That's not the point. Right. You want to depend on financials because if you can't eat and you can't keep the lights on, you want to depend on but that. That's, so that's, that's, that's my point that so I'm that's saying. providing insecurity. So if that's the least, how can the man really make you feel comfortable? So I'll just speak real quick because y'all like not really, you're not grounded. So here's the facts, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, you said it before. You said that, well, I broke up with my man that was working at um, Whole Foods. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that's you broke up with him. And that's the reason why you said no, it was because he cheated. No, 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 no. That isn't it. How people do. We ain't that complicated. Human beings are very simple. How we do one thing is how we do a multitude of other things. So a man that doesn't have the competence to go out there and make something of himself to provide you a good future. He isn't the the top tier guy he's lacking on things he's inadequate in a multitude of ways guess what it takes to make a hundred guess what only a 20 percent of the population makes a hundred thousand dollars a year think about that quick think about that very quick for a second why does only 20 percent of the entire population make a hundred thousand dollars a year because it's hard to do it takes certain traits to make that money and i'm not talking about you know a girl selling feet on only uh, fell, selling feet pics on only fans yeah you can make a quick bag or you're in a strip club trying to sell your sexuality yeah a female always have that you know way where she could you know try to make some bread but i'm talking about actually out there doing an honest job an honest living it takes skills so what's some characteristic traits that it takes to make money one it's assertive, dominant, which is all A-type personality traits, non-agreeable to a certain extent, right? Those skills, those traits in every human being, in a woman or in a man, it allows them to be able to compete. Because when you're working at a job and you're in the market working, you have to compete with other employees to get ahead in a job. You get what I'm saying? That's how you get a raise. And then that's how you're able to better your resume to get another job. So it's all competition. So it's all a competence level. You get what I'm saying? So my point is that if the nigga that you, Wu, you, Wu, uh, Wu was dating had a higher level of competence, he would be extremely much more attractive. And I'm not saying that she would still accept him and be with him cheating, but it's a high probability she'd be like... Was it just one time? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I There's a higher agree. probability that it will be like that. That's all I'm saying. So my point is that the trace that it is not the money. It's the trace that it takes to make the money that's attractive to a woman. That's why financials is not important. Exactly. Because okay. the only way you can get you can get you can that. Me, right? So I want to go back to what you said because, okay, the reason why I say financials is not important is because we got to figure out are we talking about when we first meet a person or it, er, when when we're dealing with them? Because the stuff you're talking about is in relationship stuff. Yeah. We're not talking about when that you first meet somebody. You're not going to first meet somebody and see a dollar sign on their head. Yeah. You feel me? Somebody yeah, could be making 30000 the incorrect, incorrect, ladies, 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 ladies. ladies, 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 ladies. ladies. They job ladies. all the time. Sometimes okay, I'll teach y'all again. Broke. I'll teach y'all again. Yeah. That's incorrect, ladies. You think you... That's for example, I can't tell yeah, really, it's, really, it's not an opinion. I'm literally, I'm a man and he could tell you too. So I'm going to give you the male experience. We all had to go, go through this. Men are born without any value. We start at zero value, meaning that we're not zero value in the eyes of women. In order for us to be attractive and have value to women, we have to earn our value, right? So we go through life having to earn our value. On the opposite hand, the reason why you can't see it, because women are born with their value, with their sexual value. 
You get what I'm saying? So when you're 18, you could date all the world's your oyster. You can go out there and date, right? Mm. And most guys would be attracted. Most it's facts that most most men are attracted to most women. But guess what? Most women aren't attracted to most men. The reason why most women aren't attracted to most men because most men couldn't create any value. You get what I'm saying? So you're saying that, well, no, uh, you know, a, a guy could just be attractive. No, it what it takes to make the money makes the man attractive. When I walk into a room, so competence, so uh, competence leads to accomplishments, which then leads to pure confidence. That confidence, when you see a nigga walk in a room and you know he that nigga, it's like, oh, who that? It's like the swag, the way he walk and everything about him, you know it's authentic. The reason why it's authentic and you can see it, because he accomplished things. When you truly accomplish things, you walk with a different confidence. You talk with a different confidence. You do things and convey yourself with a different confidence. You feel what I'm saying? It's just totally different. Wanna, and he can speak to I that. Go ahead. To this. So would we all agree that as a woman, your beauty is the most important thing to attract a man? No. 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 Absolutely no, not. That. No, bro. No. Okay, right, so, I, I agree with that. Right, so, okay, whether you agree with it or not, the reality is that yeah, yeah. so a man is going to shoot your, your looks are the most important thing. That's So with, with that being said, you didn't have to work for that. It, let's say you were you're nine or a ten, right? You were born in this world as a nine or a ten. You didn't have to work to accomplish those looks. You're just born with it. Then that's what men value is looks. So with men, all the things that you value, like you said, you know, confidence. When the, learning how to speak to a woman, that comes from failure. That man had to, you know, approach girls, get embarrassed in front of his boys a couple of times. Like he had to learn all of these traits through trial and error. Everything that you find attractive about a man, you know, competence, him being funny, you know, him how to talk to a woman, how to arouse her, how to keep her interested. Everything that you are attracted to from a man, he had to learn through trial and error. Mm -hmm. He wasn't gifted with it. He wasn't born with it. He had to develop that. So that's what he's talking about when he says you're giving your value up front. Sorry. You're born with your beauty. You didn't have to do anything to obtain it. And because you're beautiful, men are in your DMs, men are being polite to you, they're giving you attention, they're giving you validation. Men mm -hmm. don't get that unless we're providing those things that are valuable for women. That's for example, well, that's real, quick, real quick, ladies, for example, let's just speak facts, right? So before the podcast even started, my man Giovanni was sitting here. He was just sitting here chilling. And you ladies seen something about him. Y'all said, oh, dang, he, you know, he looks like he... I said certain things. I can't remember exactly what it was, that's but it. I heard it. It was he like looks he looks suave. He looks suave. You was giving him these compliments, and it was just like because he was sitting here chilling, and he was very gentleman like with his legs up like that, with the watch showing. He's chilling, and you know he just seemed like he accomplished things. And then he was over here talking to the ladies, giving them game about credit and stuff. And they look, they listening, and they like, oh, dang, wow, he is giving game like this. But he just it wasn't he wasn't just made like that. He had to become that. Mm -hmm. They had to we earn listen, it. We listen, we listen because that's he, not a nine or a ten, though. We listen like because he was respectful. He came in and treated us like people. The way he conveyed himself and all that, he had to earn it. But I'm saying, saying, what about a woman that's not a six? What if she a two? Then what's the? But, okay, the reality is that even the the below average woman is still gets more action and validation than an attractive man. You could take the most basic looking girl mm -hmm. and her Instagram Instagram DM is full of guys. Like in the comments, oh, Q and all this. Go look at an ad. So why don't guys go look at a good looking guy on Instagram yeah. that's not, that doesn't have status, that, you know, isn't famous, that mm -hmm. doesn't have money and all that. And just look at his comments. Yeah, I know. Just to see well, his DMs. It's going to say? be very far between. I said, so it's like, it kind of feels like, like, I understand what you're saying and I agree. But like, whose fault is that? Why don't guys just stop looking at looks? Why don't you just look yeah, for no, no, it's not about Why that. don't you stop saying. looking for the things that you're looking to, man? Why don't you stop looking for competence? Why don't you stop looking for height? Why don't you stop looking for looks? Why are you immediately dis disregarding what men want, but also validating what every single one of these women wanted on the panel? What I'm Something? saying is, it's like, you're one like, second. oh, women want this and women want that. And, and you, of course, you're saying like, guys look for looks. That's the difference. And women have the looks. And women are looking for whatever, but the guys don't have. Yeah, remember right? what I said before, the biology thing? Mm -hmm. It's because it's it's naturally in you. It's embedded in you but to like certain things. You need to want certain things. Like, like for example, like you said, guys look for looks. So do I. But th that's not you saying like... Yeah. Women like do that's not naturally, naturally embedded in me to look for the things that you're saying. Women do naturally look for men who lie. 
No. All right. So when you go to the yacht parties, are you seeing average looking women? Or below average looking women or overweight women or are you seeing beautiful women in shape women at a yacht party at any any setting where there's mm -hmm. a party typically <laughs> if there's you know men of value that have money they have status and they're celebrating and there's a collection of group of people what are the girls that are in that group are they would you say they're fit they're eight nines and tens or you would say they're, yeah. they're overweight four fives and sixes yeah if a guy's getting a oh, section yeah. he wants all bad bitches in his section yeah. because bad bitches are a good look to the men and they're right. going to bring in more bad exactly. bitches how many have you gotten to the club for free before uh, that leads yeah, back time. to you wanting a lustful man it's the difference between a man who just want to fuck you and a man who really want to take care of you and be around bro it's a difference and you got to learn the difference as a woman you have to know the difference if, of course it's gonna be a hundred men who want to fuck in your dms why wouldn't there be you look good so what is your <laughs> argument Hey, can, you, can you sit back too? Because they can't see you in the cam. It's a uh, pull, pull your mic back. Are you saying yeah. that men don't value your beauty? In a sense, no. Yes, y'all value it to a certain extent. Once another bitch come around who look better, they're going to leave you. That's not true. That's facts. That's a fact. That's not you true. Get a bitch, you get a better bitch. If he get a better bitch than her, he's going to leave her. That's not true at all. No, that's stamp. That's, that's not stamp. true. You that's stamp. Stamp. You leaving that's me, not Bookie? True. Let me slide that. So... Well, this goes into, you know, something I've talked about frequently and a lot of people in this space have talked about that women don't ever think about what the man wants. If you were genuinely able to like sit there and think about what the, like the, you know what the man that you want, you, you have the idea mm -hmm. and you know what you want from him, but you have no idea what that man wants from you and what you could give that, hold on, what you give that man. Right. So my thing is, you should be thinking about what you can provide for that man. And if you're able to give that man all the things that he wants, it doesn't matter if a, you know, a badder looking girl comes along. He's going to stay loyal to you because you're giving him things that other women can't, such as submission, such as being respectful, such as he knows he can trust you around, you know, other men of status in certain calibers. He knows you're not going to be half naked on Instagram. You're going to conduct <laughs> yourself in such a way. I disagree. But that, but that, yeah, no, that you can but disagree, that but it's to a totally... man wanting a woman who is also the same. We also are the same. If y'all are the same way, y'all wouldn't leave a good woman. Why would we leave a good man? Well, it's, it's different. Because, it's not. How is it different? Whatever. Why would we leave a man who's more rich, who who got more money? If you holding shit there, down at the crib, of, if you holding shit down at the crib, hold on. Hold on. If you, if, hold on. It if you're, nothing to do with them being good. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know why. So uh, answer your question. The reason why is because women are slaves to their emotions. They feel one way one day and then they feel another moment the next day. So uh, the facts is that the reason why divorce happens usually is for finances. Maybe the uh, woman would then out earn the man or maybe the man lost a promotion, a promotion and then he's not making the same. Um, it's usually with stuff like that. The other thing is that uh, women nowadays in 2023 with social media around, they have more options than ever. And women are hypergamous. That's another thing that's embodied in you. It's your biology. Hyper hypergamy means that you want a man that's superior than you. You want to date either uh, above you, preferably above or across in social hierarchy statuses. So that's just the fact. You want a man that's better than you want to find the best man you can. Quality is what women look for. So guess what? The reason why women tend to leave their man when they go cheat, when they go uh, meet another dude. Well, you got to think about it. Sex for a woman is the most ultimate form of ultimate form of submission so for example if me and you in a relationship right what's your name you over there what's me? your name yeah okay okay so if me and you in a relationship and because that's what we're speaking about we're saying you just said that well uh well well if the man wouldn't leave well why would you know the woman wouldn't leave either it's much differently a man can have sex with someone and still love his girl a woman, if you have sex with someone, you think about it. You, got you don't love your man at all. You just let someone slide in between your soul gap, smack it, and flip it around. You submit it to another man. I don't submit to any other uh, to any other woman. I dominate another woman. So sex for a man is a dominating act, and sex for a woman is a submissive act. Meaning, meaning that, meaning that. I disagree. If, I you mean, can have sex with a man and not feel nothing and yes, be so, fine. Sex and relationships is two different well, things. One, though. That's totally incorrect. If a sex woman has sex with a man and 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 didn't have to have any chemistry or any vibe, meaning that she just meets meets a random guy and she just lets him hit it in a weird place very randomly without him even having to say anything, she's a broken woman. 
She's yeah. broken, that, meaning that she was promiscuous already before in her life. I but agree. guess what? A man, we don't even got to know your name. We don't got to know anything about you. If the opportunity is open, we're going to slide in there and tear it up. But you ladies don't go through that. You have to feel a vibe yes. before you let a man clap your cheeks. Not at all. I agree. Okay, so you, you if you that. say not at all, so have you ever had sex with someone? Women literally it get was, put, no, 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 Tom, Did you ever have sex it. with... Did you ever have sex with a man where you felt nothing for? He didn't have to say anything or do anything. You were just like, yeah, this booty yours. I'm going to plead the fifth, but I'm going to go based off of other no, women and other women. Yeah, that yeah, I, yeah, listen, yeah. Listen, so, listen, so no, 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 no. It's time out. The reason why you said you plead the fifth because you don't want to concede. You know no. that you wouldn't do that. You know I, that you wouldn't do it. If I'm in a mood and I feel no, like but fucking you, no, no, that's the thing. tonight and I don't want to do you nothing might, to him, you're 20, I'm a 22? fucking tonight. You're 22, right? 24. 20, oh, 24. So you're older than this girl, both of these two girls. 24? 22. 22. Okay, so you the literally the second oldest out of the girls on the panel. you 24 years old. And you haven't had that. You, you never did that yet is what I'm saying. I might have. Okay, if you did do it, then guess what? You're part of the woman that's broken. I might have been. Fair enough to say. That's, abs that's absolutely correct, but we're still not going to take away from the fact that if women still get to choose who, to, who they fucking with. Yeah, we like, choose who we want to fuck. And like I said, yes, and like you I, choose, and like I but said, a, a lot of women to, give you still have pity to like pussy. The a lot of women give pity pussy. We're not going to sit up here and, talk, and, and and go across that subject, bro. A nigga could be in your face. You Look, say you alone with a nigga, right? No, and, no, no. Tell you, you, said, look, you said pity pussy. Women give vulnerable right. pussy, meaning that they're in a vulnerable not, situation and, and a nigga hit it because, oh, she was in a vulnerable... Keep begging for some pussy. Mike at a time. Listen, what I'm saying is you said pity. I'm just correcting that. Women don't give no pity pussy. Pity is like, oh, I feel sorry for you. Yeah. She yes. don't give no sorry. The dudes that think about it, oh, I feel sorry for you, so I'm gonna give you this poon. Though she only gives poon to a nigga like that if a nigga was already hitting it before. So it's like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, you yeah, just no. always in my DMs. I know he had sex before, so here's some pity no. pussy because mm -hmm. he already had his pussy before. So take it. She doesn't <laughs> give put pity yeah. pussy to a new nigga. That's not what? Because she don't wouldn't even feel no pity for the new nigga. You it's get what I'm saying? You, Women I, give vulnerable pussy, meaning that yeah. they was vulnerable. Things was going on, in, going on in their life, probably some going through adversities mm -hmm. or trauma, and a nigga swooped in there and clapped them cheeks because she was in a, in her emotions, slaves to her emotions. So that's why niggas clap uh, clap cheeks when chicks are vulnerable, not for pity. It is pity. That isn't Sister pity. It doesn't even correlate. Song. She said it's, it's pity pussy. A nigga come around she, and he y'all chillin' right? Look, song, look, bro. She said that for it to rhyme. No. She probably used you're another word. What rhymes with look. pity? What she? What was the word before she said pity? Y'all chillin' the crib. I don't know. Y'all chillin' the crib. Exactly. She used another word for the rhyme. And a nigga keep begging. A nigga keep touching you. You telling him no? I don't want to fuck. I don't want to fuck. I don't want to fuck. And he keep touching you. That's pity pussy. Is that not people like fucking? Like most women aren't gonna do that. That's not every. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You know, give their their body away. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Thousand guys trying to have sex with you. I'm gonna pity all thousand of them. I'm not saying that all women do that, but some women do do that. We're not about to sit. You said a lot of women or most women before, did she not? She did say a lot of most. is the same. Let's do some super chats real quick. So super chat, we got Dante. uh S S says sends in five dollars. Men and women experience life so much differently, but being the logical being, most men get it. Keep uh but keep preaching. God bless. Uh popcorn movies game sends in five dollars. He says, uh, I don't know if it's if it's a he or she, but um it says uh it's men out here falling in love after two dates, and we know it's based on her looks. That's a fact. That's a fact. Or it's just based off he ain't have no options. <laughs> he's just Usually, happy that someone's talking yeah, to him. Yeah, he's happy yeah. someone talking to him, man. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh so let's have this conversation be concise. Yeah, let's get into some actual discussions yeah. here. Can I um, I didn't answer my question? Like, can I answer? Can I go? What was your question? What, what you didn't she, ask she, her turn. I didn't answer my her I'll, turn. I'll let you go. finish. Yeah, let's we almost yeah, let's finish it. Last one. So let's right. do your yeah. uh, top priority preference and the bottom preference. So way that you forgot. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? It's okay. Wait, what'd you say? I'm feeling the type of way that you forgot. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> um, my, my top one is definitely money because I don't care what nobody says. Money make the world go round and money make you happy. So when a man's, when a man got money, he's less stressed, he's less angry, and he's not taking his anger out on y'all and y'all relationship. And when there's 
when your part when both of y'all have money coming in the it just flows easier it's way easier to stress about something else but when you start stressing about money that's a different type of stress that's a different type of pain so Fair i think enough. money is my money top is priority top? what's your bottom um bottom is race okay i don't really care about race. race cool cool all right. Um, so now, ladies, uh, I know Damn, before that the went on forever, bro. Right? That, 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 that didn't go on but forever. I y'all sharing though. Yeah, yeah, um, I did share that. Yeah. Um, ladies, uh, do y'all have any questions? I know before the podcast started, y'all had some questions. If not, I got a question. What's your question? Okay, so uh, my question is, oh, we kind of, Dan, we just kind of spoke about it. Let me see yeah, if I got let's, another let's one. Let's move on from. Uh, let's see here. But if y'all have any questions, let me know. Right. Uh, I got a question for the men. Okay, what you got? You eating coochie on the first night? Oh my God, here we go. Uh, Giovanni, you want to answer that? Here we go. <laughs> I'm a man of God. I won't even entertain that. <laughs> you? Yeah, uh, nah, I ain't doing that. You lying. lying. You, you, you know he, he ate pussy on the lying. first night. Yeah. Like he eating pussy on the yeah. first night. Look at yeah, the beard. that because of the beard. Right. He's from the back. He yeah. like getting, get, matter of fact. Ease. We need you <laughs> one of them. <laughs> he his little bonnet on. Let me make sure it look good from the back. Yeah, okay. funny. Yeah, funny. Um, funny question. Any other questions? Um, um, first night is wild. I have a question. <laughs> I have a good question that I asked on Twitter that I was getting a lot of replies to. Um, Men, as a... Uh, a little small gesture. Would you guys prefer flowers? Would we like, prefer like, giving would flowers? Feel? Not pref not prefer. Meaning more, a woman more, giving us flowers yes, or us? Yes. How would how would you how would you feel, bro? How would you feel if, you know, a woman came home? You know, she what? She went to the grocery store. She picked up some stuff for for dinner tonight. And she got you some flowers. How would you feel? Would you? That's that's this, solid or not? So let me give you the equivalent, right? So um, say if uh the man comes up to you say if you're in a relationship and he's like yo dragon ball z was uh crazy the episode happened crazy freaking gohan was battling cell it was an awesome battle speak english look look <laughs> you don't even care it's like speak english so if a girl came home with flowers it's like what but, what but a lot of niggas the equivalent a lot of niggas be like a lot of niggas be talking about how y'all don't get your flowers to y'all dad and y'all would appreciate flowers once y'all whatever blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's a metaphor respect that men are talking about when they say they want their flowers. Yeah, yeah. Not like literal flowers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like show. I know what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also in the back, I know y'all vibing. Um, the the audience can still hear y'all, but they can't see y'all. So whenever uh, E's and uh, homie back there speaking, it just throws things off because the audience is like, wait, what's this other voice coming right. from? But the cameras are over here. Um, any other questions? No. Okay, yeah. chat. If y'all got any questions, uh, send in a super chat and we'll ask a question on the panel. Um, let's see here. I have a question. Let's see here. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Can, can okay. I mention uh, something? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. You can mention I something. I do have a question. And especially for men, I think something I, I realized is that a lot of men, I think, of course, women have these standards. And I think a lot of times it's not that the men can't do the standards. I think it's just the pressure. I think men go through a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. not only from women, but from society. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of women don't acknowledge the mm -hmm. pressure that's on men. Mm -hmm. And not even just saying age-wise or race-wise, but just being a man in general. Yeah. Like I don't think that I could do it, being honest. I don't think I mm -hmm. could do the pressure that men go yeah. through. Yeah, women expect a lot from men. But that's yeah. and it's like not even because I and I think about it, like even when I was dating, like me arguing with my man. But then I start I started to feel bad because I'm like he, I don't know what else he had what happened to him yeah. today. Like if he got an argument with his mom or if he's mad at his brother or mm -hmm. if he got an argument or something happened at work or whatever. And I think that a lot of men don't tell you. So yeah, of course not. 
yeah, a lot of men don't tell you what else happened in their day. So you're just another thing on the pile. And I think I had to kind of reflect, like, let me, even if I do have an issue, let me just readjust how I, I address it. Because a lot of times men get overwhelmed and they don't know how to release that yeah. steam. So the pressure just piles up. And I've seen that on a lot of guys. A but lot of guys not, that you were talking to? Just in, yeah, a lot of guys that I've talked to and even just like, and my brothers, like, I see a lot of the behind the scenes and a lot of pressure that they put on themselves and the expectations that they try to hold because society says it. Yeah, life is hard. Uh, you know, uh, the world doesn't owe anyone understanding. It's up to, you know, us as human beings to understand the world and uh, overcome those adversities and trauma. And uh, that's just the life of being a man. I do have a question, though. We're going to start uh, over here with you. Um, Lala. Ayla. Ava. Ava it's Lynn. Kayla without the Ayla. K. Ayla? Ayla? Kayla without the K. Yes. Okay, Ayla. Lala. Uh, <laughs> Lala. <all right. laughs> Crazy, yo. It's a two-pronged question, right? Uh, so, uh, would you rather, so would you rather question, right? So, would you rather uh, let a nigga hit it for 50K as a guy that you're attracted <laughs> oh to? It's a, it's a It's an average-looking guy. Actually, average-looking guy. He's going to, he, he give you 50K to hit. And no one's going to know about it, but you get this 50K, right? No one's going to know, you get the 50K. Or you let a nigga clap them cheeks and the world knows about it. It go viral on Twitter, Facebook, and all of that. But you collect two mil and he ugly. Damn. The first one. The first one. So you're going to collect that 50. And okay, fair enough. What about you? Yeah, I would say the first one. Say the first I would one. I'll go fifty k. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, I can flip it. I want to go to two mil, but my pride won't let me. I thought you said you don't settle. <laughs> like the fifty k thing. <laughs> Not a <laughs> you Two options. You're saying this or that. Got to choose between these two things. I yeah. can't change this, what what the content is. So if I had to choose, I would choose fifty k just because I don't have the confidence or the balls, and I have pride. Like I can't. You I want to be humiliated. Yeah, I want to do that. What about you? Oh, I'm sorry. And can you sit back because the audience really can't see you because you got your your head on the you know the. Um, ask me the question again. Yeah, so uh, would you rather let a nigga uh, hit an average looking dude, hit it for 50K? He'll pay you 50K, you get $50,000. Okay, and he the clapping nigga, them cheeks. The, the nigga that's two million, my relationship with him? Or nah, nah, the nigga that, the nigga's two million, he's ugly, but the world gonna know about it. He's ugly? Yeah. Ooh. But you get two mil. I probably let that ugly nigga hit, I ain't gonna lie. Word, she 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 confident out here. She's secure in her, in her position. Two mil. What a, I'm gonna take it. What about yourself? Can I use the bathroom? Oh yeah, you go ahead. And then what about yourself? Um, what was the what was is he? Oh, the guy is ugly, and he would. First uh, guy, average looking guy. You only getting fifty k. Clap them cheeks. Second guy, uh, you getting two million, but he ugly, and the world gonna know. I'm taking the higher bid because the average guy probably ain't somebody I want either. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm like, if you're going slide bid. in there, you might as well. What about you? I'm doing a two mil because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on the internet probably for like a week and then people are going to forget about it. People are going to forget about it. Internet is forever, though. Yeah, internet is I forever. I mean, yeah, but, but like... People are going to forget. It's going to die down. You're going to have a video. Who cares? I'm up two mil. I don't give a fuck. That 200K. <laughs> I'm boss. I'm... Flexing with two mil, yeah, what y'all got? That sweaty Chinese beer back dude put his belly dropping it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all over the internet. But you said average. No, no. I no, said put two mil. It's, it's an ugly dude. Guy. Average? Oh, yeah. You, you chose the first guy, right? No, no. You the chose, the, chose the, yeah, you chose the, the rich one. Okay, fair but enough. Guy, like the, the difference for me is it not being on the internet. That's that's my uh that's my limit. Yeah, the internet, part. the being on the internet part. Yeah, I think that's my limit. Uh, I feel like everything is sex on the internet. So on the internet. Oh, the the, the video. Oh, yeah. the video Ch 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 in the, the question. Internet. You having sex with the ugly we gonna guy? We going to the. Yo, we going Two ladies just went to the bathroom. Once they come back, yo, we gonna get to your yeah. chat. I seen you uh, in here uh, sent the super chat. Then y'all all gotta go to the bathroom. Well, I'm here. Let's talk about something. Well, geez. I want to ask you guys a question. Yeah. Okay. So, sure. Based off and and. Uh, Back there, if y'all go into the bathroom and stuff, just keep it down because the podcast we still live and we rolling. But yeah, go ahead. You ask your question. Based off our 
like first or second conversation. So do y'all prefer women who don't like work and make their own money and you guys are the providers? Based off what question. you were saying, I feel like yeah. that's what you guys want, like to take care of a woman. So you could you could hit this one first. Yeah. I mean, what, you're asking what I would prefer, or like a like, woman. Like I guess just work? as a man, I know you're saying biologically. I guess that's naturally kind of like what happens or what we want. So for the women who are wor working and like want to make their own money, is that something that you look for as a man, or is that, or do you want to find somebody who you're gonna just take care of and provide for? Like, if I meet her and she's working, you know that's fine. But what I'm saying is like when we take. The relationship to like a next level and it's serious and i'm like fully invested in it like i just personally would like to take the lead and i'd like to provide for her if she chooses to work that's her decision i'm not going to tell her not to work but i what i don't want is a woman that's going to prioritize her career that's career driven that's going to okay. prioritize that over our future that we're building together okay gotcha. so she would have to be okay with you know prioritizing that right um she wants to make her own money and that's fine okay okay yo can you open that door back there Thank you. So you just keep it open. Uh, for myself, same question. Which yeah, would I put? Sure. Oh, so it really doesn't matter to me. Um, uh, it's like what I prefer is his answer. He explained it perfectly. Um, if I'm making enough money to allow my woman not to work, I will give her the option not to work. Hey, you don't have to work. And I would prefer that she didn't work, especially with kids involved. If we have kids and stuff like that, the man is like, okay, I don't want uh, someone else instilling their worldviews into my kids out of daycare. <laughs> let my, the woman, let the mother stay at home and instill our worldviews into the kid. So yeah, I would definitely prefer that um, like over add, anything. I would like to add on to that too. Sure. Yeah, so like also the thing is, is like, I believe that women aren't designed to like handle high levels of stress, whereas men are. Yeah. So, like, I want to take that burden away from her. That way she's able to put 100% of her focus into the home, me, and the children, right? So, you know, you talk to a lot of career women, they're like, I just don't have anything left at the end of the day. So now imagine coming home, working 80 hours a week, and now you have to give attention to your child and parent that child. And then you still have to go to the man. The man's going to get whatever is left. There's barely any left when you're just a career woman grinding on your mission. Then you split that between your career, your child, and the man just gets the crumbs where I want to take that burden so she doesn't have to handle that stress so she can just focus on me, the household, and the family. That yeah. So I'm still young, so I'm learning. Okay. You guys are older. You guys are successful, obviously. So for me, I think from the perspective right now of like, I want to make my own money. I want to be able to support myself. So if you guys were to give me advice... How, like, what is it that you would say? Because when I think I want to be able to work, if I have a man providing for me, I, I wouldn't have to necessarily work full time. Like, I'll be there for my kids if that's the compromise we make. Yeah. But how would you tell me to change that perspective? Like, what is it that you guys would look for in a woman if you don't want a woman working like 40 hours a week and putting in all that time at work? If that makes sense. Like, because you guys keep saying that you know, the men should be the provider, yes. so then... Well, I, I would advise you to keep doing what you're doing because, like I said, there's most men aren't going to be in a position to do, to do that. Most men aren't going to step up and do that in the first place. Yeah. So you should definitely do that, pursue your career, get your money while you can, while you're single. But what I'm saying is when you find a man that is able to do that, that you're able to take a step back and understand now there's something more important on the table. It's not just my career because I'm not just by myself anymore. I'm in a relationship and I've taken this relationship serious. I respect this man. I value and respect him. And the product of that is going to eventually come a child and, you know, married if that's what you want. So you got to realize, OK, now that's what's more important to me. So I'm saying that if you're able to do that, if you're able to make that separation when you find that man, then that's all a man's asking for. I think you should absolutely <clears throat> go get your career and get your money because, again, you're not guaranteed to find a man that's going to be able to do that for you. Yeah. That's and to add on to what you said. No, it isn't. I was just going to add on to what he said. To add on to what he to add on to what he said, I have an 11 year old daughter. She's taller than you. <laughs> uh, you're five, what, 4'11? She's 5'4. But so I have an 11 year old daughter. Every parent 
and not even as a parent, but every human being should want to be self-sufficient. So you out there working, that's what you should do. You how because you need to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the mind state, the state of mind that you're in. So yeah, you're out there working and stuff. And like in your mind, you're like, yeah, I got to be working. I got to get to the bag and this and this. But wait, these guys are saying like that they don't care about a woman working. Well, how does that correlate to my worldview and what I'm doing now? So it, it's th your state of mind is your how you're perceiving it. So we're just saying that continue to work like me and him just said and, you know, and get your bag. Just know that when you meet a man, you have to prioritize your man if you truly genuinely love and respect this man and you see a future with him. That's all we're saying. Right. So it changes when you meet the man. That's all we're saying. saying that basically you should be able to or not be able to, but uh, it, a man should or they should try to reach the point where their woman should be able to take a man, that step A man back. should, a man should, and every man wants to actually reach that point. The fact is that it's just hard to do. Right. It's extremely hard to do. I'm 34 years old. It took time to acquire the value that I have now. Um, and my future value too, is still going to take time for me to reach those bigger goals. Um, so yeah, it's like continue to, be self-sufficient and get the bag. But when you meet that man, just know that you have to acquiesce your behaviors, you know, to keep that man, you know, add value to the man outside of just sex. And don't, you have to change your priorities. You get what I'm saying? So you're prioritizing career, career, career right now. When you get that man, you got to prioritize the man. But then the, also the other thing you have to think about is, yeah, your focus is the man, but you're 22. And I just spoke about it with her. You at your peak value. Yeah, well, maybe you could maybe accentuate yourself and maybe gain some more value when you're two years from now. And maybe it, you, in some way you'll be more valuable to a man, maybe beauty wise. But experience wise, unless you don't have any other dudes clapping them cheeks in two years, you're not going to be more valuable. So right now, no one clapping them cheeks, you're at your most valuable. Next week, if you let another nigga clap your cheeks, your value went down. Two weeks after that, a year after then, four niggas clapped their cheeks, value went extremely down. But it isn't that your value went down and, and like, because when men, we don't, I don't know your body count. Men, we don't know the woman's body count. So it isn't like your value went down to like, you know, that we know it. It's like we can always smell it on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we, we could almost smell on just how you know when a dude is faking and he's like incongruent and he's like a broke dude. He's like a used car salesman type dude. You can smell it on him. We can smell it on a girl that's just been promiscuous. Like, yeah, uh uh. You was in them streets. How she, carry her, how she carries herself. <laughs> how she carries herself yeah. and things but like that. Actually, yeah. Piggybacking off of that and mentioning what you said earlier, how, you know, Maybe, you know, years from now when you have a lot of experience, maybe I went on all these trips and maybe I had a four inch dick, maybe I had a 10 inch dick. Yeah. But now I know. And now, you know, I might not find whatever I'm looking for. And at this point, I don't have as much value because of my experience. So then what do I do then? Just not experience or just not have a man? No, like, no. What, You're still going to live through. Ex understand. We're not saying, oh, just, you know, as you when you experience a whole lot, you know, your life is doomed. No, we're just saying that the probability for you to be satisfied in a long term relationship goes down because women every time in order for you to have sex with a guy. Guess what? You have to like the guy to a certain degree. So you have an, um, an emotional investment to a small degree. Not, I'm not saying big. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like, oh, he was like your soulmate and all oh, every guy you slept with was your soulmate. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the guys that slid in between your soul guts, he raised you up to a degree that he got that because there's a whole bunch of other dudes that didn't have that chance. But Kyle hit it. Well, why did Kyle hit it? Well, he just had something over Brian, Ryan, Mike, uh, Rashid and those other dudes. He just had something over them. You get what I'm saying? So a few out of all the guys that approach you and that's hitting on you, a very small percent of those dudes actually hit. You just think that it's like it it just magically happened. Like, oh, it's a fairy tale. Oh, well, he, he was just a, my Prince Charming. No, he wasn't no Prince Charming. He had something over those other guys. You get what I'm saying? Because everything is a competition. So when one dude hit it and that dude say he has packing a, a, a 10 inch and he making 100k a year and he ridged you up he's very charismatic he's funny you're laughing and stuff then another nigga hit it and say he got uh six inches and he not as funny or he's even making more money 
or he's even more funny. But his wang is literally he don't got the good dick strength that the other guy had. So now you're like, you're going to be yearning for Tyrone. Dang, Tyrone, I kind of missed that stroke, daddy. Or <laughs> think about it. Or maybe the dick was even bigger or the, the, the chemistry was even better. But he's broker than the last guy. So then it's going to be like, dang, like, yeah, you're giving me everything. The sex is great, but you're not stable. I don't see, you don't really give me security. I don't see a future with you. Right. You get what I'm saying? So you're all, women are always comparing and contrasting from their past men. I said this before on a podcast. I agree with that. Women are only as faithful as their past sexual options. So the more bodies you rack up, the, hot, the, uh, the higher the probability is for you to disqualify men and that you'll be satisfied with men. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't want to settle. You even said before, you was like, I don't really want to settle. The reason why you think about it, you don't want to settle. Okay, you meet a guy. He has these things about him. Something goes wrong in a relationship. You stop talking to him. You meet another guy. You're comparing from the last guy to the new guy. If he doesn't meet the standard, it's like, it's like settling in the last guy. I think for guy. me, it's the opposite. I don't want my new guy to remind me of my last guy. I think for me, it's a little opposite. So, like, if you have qualities of my... It, I, I'm sorry, I cut you off real quick, but I'll let you go. It's not about reminding you of the last guy, right? So, I'll, I'll, well, put, I'll well, put it well, like we'll compare this. And contrast. I'll put it like this. Right now, <laughs> where I'm at in myself in my life... I know that if I wanted to be out in these streets and be promiscuous, I'll be doing damage to a lot of women. Because if I'm hitting something, they, uh, every she, she'll have 10, 10 divorces because no dude will measure up. It's going to be very hard to measure up to a nigga like me. Extremely hard. Maybe some years ago, I didn't really have the confidence. I didn't have the uh, the money there. I didn't have you know certain things in order. It's like, okay, another guy could get over me here and there. But now it's like it's going to be extremely hard for a woman to find a man that's better than me. And guess what? I know this. So I know if I'm out here being promiscuous, <laughs> I'm literally lowering these girls value to a huge degree. Any girl that I sleep with, she's going to have 10 divorces because she ain't going to never find another nigga that's better. It's going to be extremely hard. Next guy she find better is going to be Jesus. <laughs> 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 but no, my point is, is that. That's how it goes. So think about it. You said that your last relationship, the guy, he was six foot four, right? And you even said that, well. The two guys I dated, one was six seven, one was six four. Yeah. And and look, you're going up. You're going up and up in height. Now, if a. No, it actually went down. Maybe, but yes, six four. I'm six four. A six four and a six seven, that ain't too off. You probably can't even tell the difference because you're mad short. It's only a three <laughs> inch difference. You really can't tell. So the whole comparing contrast thing is like. You really don't want to date down. It's in your nature to look for quality. So if you already had a taste of caviar, you don't want to date below that is what I'm saying. So should you not? So it's like, well, I mean, it's like, it's, it's such a. You great... will date below that, but you'll grow. It's a high probability that, you, that you'll grow resentment in some way. And the man, like he just won't be that nigga. I think then you wouldn't. I think then. well, I mean, I can't say any woman, but then I think I wouldn't, wouldn't be with him to begin with. Because I just feel like, okay, if you have this standard and this is what you look for, anything that's below that standard, I don't think that you would even give the attention to. Does that make sense? Anything that's below that standard. Well, no, that's not that's that doesn't make any sense because we all explained in the beginning of the podcast. I said women are slaves to their emotions. So you could have a standard. Your main put it like this. A woman's main standard is charisma. That's the main standard, because if the nigga says the right thing at the right time and he's charismatic enough, it's a it's a it's a chance that he could slide in, especially if he catch you at the right time, which is you, maybe you're vulnerable. You in a vulnerable state, you're emotional. The last nigga did something wrong and oh, you, you maybe your job. Who knows? You're in a vulnerable state. It's a high probability he could slide in between them soul gaps and smack it and flip it around. It's if he's charismatic enough. That's what I'm saying. But I think like. Based on what you said, like with women, like you said, they're emotional. Like you said, they're emotional. So I think, you know, honestly, taking everything that everyone said, there's so many different things that come into play in different parts. Like, is it the looks? Is it the money? Is it charisma? I think it's honestly just based on the woman. There's so much gray area because all of us are emotionally are, you know, all of our emotions are different. We all have them just in different ways. So like... 
charisma might be for one person, but that might not be for the next. Well, no, charisma <laughs> charisma is for every woman, meaning that charisma is very simple, right? Mm -hmm. It's the women don't create the vibe. So when women say, oh, yeah, I just want to feel a vibe or, yo, it was a vibe last night. They say that. <laughs> It's not because you created the vibe. I'm talking about with a guy. Right. Like, oh, I was chilling with this dude and we was just vibing. Guys it was have a cool... to do most of the talking. The dudes mm -hmm. got to raise you up. The dudes create the vibe and then you live in that vibe, within that reality of the vibe he created. You get what I'm saying? So that that's a huge part of... Why do you think that ugly niggas get pwned? They be risen Jones up. Hmm. Why do you think that broke niggas get pwned? They be risen girls up. <laughs> that's that's just how it is. Uh, so let's uh, you coming back on the pod, shorty. Yes. Okay. Um, cause uh, we gonna get into the super chats and we got a lot of questions. They coming in. All right. So uh, let's see here. Red pill monster. Um, <laughs> two days. Oh, actually, uh. Uh, men's fear for uh, two days. We know. Okay, cool. Red Pill uh, Monster sends in a $2 super chat. He said, name three countries. No repeats. Can't use U.S. or Mexico. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, let's name, start. Name, uh, three, wait, name three countries. Name three countries. You can't I, I use the it. U.S. or Mexico. <laughs> so also, you can't repeat. So if one person says a country, you can't repeat that same country. country and we're going to start over here with you. I got this one. We're gonna start over, no, we're going to start over here with you. Name three countries. I can't, I can't name three. Okay, let me try to help you out. Let me try to help you out. Um, oh, fuck it. She can't name three. <laughs> she can come up with Fair enough. She can't name the three. Go ahead, Bella. Name three countries. Europe. Europe? Yeah, that's a country. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, Europe. Shush, shush, shush. No. Wait, Euro. Con wait, what are we look what are we looking for? Oh, I want countries. countries. Name three countries. Name you can't name US or Mexico. Yeah. Um wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> no, name countries. countries. United States is a country. Girl, Just skip her. Man. Can Never. I go? Let me go. Let me go. I know. I can know you three. name three or no? One is. Yeah, Let I'm it come out. Back to her. Let it come back okay. to her. Okay. Chat. We got two down. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm go. ready. I'm ready. Mike, got a time real quick. Chat, we got two down. We got three to go. Uh, the girls is naming three countries and they can't repeat the uh, the answers. Go ahead. We got Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ease. Egypt. We got Egypt. <laughs> And uh, North America. Okay. Oh, yo, yo, chat, what? yo, chat. And what about it? And what about it? Yeah, I'm standing on that. Okay. 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 Actually, so, so what, what, what is the country? North. North, um, North America is a continent. One, one. You, oh, fuck off. Well, what? <laughs> North, you said North America is a continent. North America. <laughs> is it a country or a continent? North America is it's U.S. Me. and Canada. What did you, bro? Uh, let's just move it right along. Go yeah. ahead. Who next? All right. I'm just going to guess because why not? Um, uh, what's the country? Australia. Australia is a country. Okay. One down. Yeah. Okay. There's one. Australia is a country. Um, oh, I'm about this a long one. I'm, I'm just going to guess Jamaica. Is Jamaica a country? Okay. Two. That's a country. That's a country. That's a country. I mean, my hands is getting sweaty. Yeah, yeah. Got one more. Oh, and your mama going to be proud of you. Um, oh, Netherlands. Is that a country? Southeast Asia. No, Netherlands. I'm going like Iceland. Iceland is a country. Netherlands was too. Yeah. And Netherlands. That's a country. Oh, four for four. Okay. And um, Ayla. Okay. I'm not going with maps. Ayla, put the mic. Ayla. Yeah. Um, Spain. That's a country. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Antarctica. Isn't that a country? That's not oh, Spain. That's a, that's not a t that's a continent. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We talking? Another one. Uh, I was gonna say China. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, is Anta It's not. A I think uh, Ant Antarctica oh. isn't. Uh, yeah. It's a territory or a continent. Oh. Yeah. My bad. 
said that in any of these. Yeah, I don't think any. Yeah. History major. So, uh, yo, that was funny. Thanks for sending in that ch uh, super chat, Red Pill Monster. Uh, so, uh, Perito Principal sends in a ten dollars. She said, "Question: In a cross-country road trip with your husband and your mother-in-law, who Sit gets the front. the front seat?" And we're gonna start with Ayla. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait, I, who's driving? Yeah, who's driving? Your man. That's so, if, yeah, the, the uh, man is driving. You're driving. Who's sitting in the front? Your mama or you? No, right? no, no. Yeah, or your man. The man is driving. Mm -hmm. Who's sitting in the front seat? Well, mm -hmm. if we're going cross country, I think we all would switch. But respectfully, I would let the mother sit, sit in the front in the seat. Front, yeah. Fair enough. What about you? Woo. No, she's sitting in the back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm crying. Dang. Dang. They Ruthless. Like because I just feel like I hate the moms that like have this like affection for their mm -hmm. son. Like, especially like- I wouldn't say affection, like, I would say obsessed. Like yes, obsession. obsession. Because at the end of the day, I feel like as a mom, of course you'll be motherly to your son, but I feel like moms don't a lot of times have this mentality. They don't respect their son's relationship because that's their son. But then they expect their son to do stuff for them before their woman. But it's like, would you expect your man to do that for you? Yeah, but Dang. the mom, the mom's older. Yeah. Her back's gonna hurt. Like well, I just feel like she should be in the back seat, in the front. Okay, seat. Fair enough. She, she answered it. She answered it. Moving right along. Yeah. What would you do? So who's gonna get the front seat? You don't give a fuck, bro. Whoever <laughs> in the front, sitting in the front. You, in the you see your mic? How it's lifted up? Push it down that little part, the cushion part. Oh, but you got to choose one. That's what the super chat is. She's in the front. She wants to sit in the front. She's in the front. Okay, you'll give the front seat to the I mother in law. Don't care. Cool. And what about yourself? I ain't arguing, but I'm tall. I need <laughs> you need knee room. Okay. I need some leg room. You need some leg room. Fair you enough. Fair enough. You doing the dashboard. Fair <laughs> enough. And uh, what about yourself, Bella? Um, I would say mother in law in the back seat because why do you why do you need to be in the front? Are you controlling the music? Because it's respect. That's Are you on the aux, mother-in-law? Okay. Okay. That's Do you guys uh, think it's disrespectful for it's, her? It's a C. Why is it disrespectful? It's We're going seat. to the same yes, destination. That's yes, that's disrespectful. If I'm, I'm going to sit in the front, like, bitch, you can sit in the front. You the mom. Like, whatever. Cool. I don't mm -hmm. think it's disrespectful at all for her to sit. I don't think it's disrespectful. You want your man? You, you want sit your... in the front seat boosts your ego to make you feel like you're above me because that's your son and I'm his wife or woman or whatever, then, like, that's, like, sick. That's I'll answer the question. My perspective on it all. Yeah. See if it's something else, but the fact it's that, deeper than that we're it's talking about than than that. That. hanging out. One might got a time. One might got a time. Yes. Yes. time. I'll give you a perspective here because I see this question being asked on social media. It's silly to me. One, I'm the man in the man in my relationship, and I'm the man in the family. So my mother doesn't tell me anything to do. I will be telling my mother what to do. Absolutely. So, I make the rules. I gonna if my if I choose for my woman to sit in the front seat, then she's sitting in the front seat. If I choose for mm -hmm. my mother to sit in the front seat, my woman's taking the back seat. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's up to the man. It ain't yeah. up to no woman. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. So yeah, it's when whatever. when I, so when y'all ask these questions, that comes from a very uh fem centric mindset, and that's <laughs> usually like that black Twitter type or the black instagram type where they just everything is very fem centric and it's like feelings based like they ask these questions that make no sense so uh yeah the man leads the relationship and a man should be taking charge of the his immediate family too which is his mom his brothers and stuff like that he's going to be taking charge of that situation when it comes to the family being around and the girlfriend so he's going to choose uh but Let's get into some more super chats. South three four three sends some five dollars. Just checking in from uh, Grove Town, Georgia. Okay. Salute to you, man. Um, Alpha Trait sends in ten dollars. Ladies, think back. You don't have to say his name, but you each have a man in your past that you truly loved, respect, and admired. He was a high value man, but you still pursued him. Why didn't he commit to you? Mm. It's a good question. Let's start. Where did we start before? What if you don't Let's start over here. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So he commit to you, basically. He said that um, Alpha Trade sent in 10 dollars super chat. He said that 
You have a man in your past. So think back to a man that you had in your past. He was a high value man that like you truly, you loved, admired and respect this man in your past. I'm sure all of you ladies did at some point, right? So why didn't he commit to you? Well, it depends on when you say commit. Like, is he not a cheater? Because men can come, like you already acknowledged, men can commit to you and still go out and do their thing. No, like, well, why didn't he think no, you serious? No, men show loyalty much differently than women so show loyalty. W women show loyalty through sexual fidelity. Men show loyalty for protecting, providing, and w willing to take a bullet for you. So you're looking at the sexes very differently. You know what I'm saying? So why I say that a man can have sex with a woman and still truly love his girl, which he'll be still in a committed relationship with that girl is because sex for us is not a submissive act. We don't have to be rizzed up. We don't have to have all these things to find attractive in a woman and have some emotional ties uh, with the woman in order to have sex with her. No, if we have the option, then we'll smash it. Men are as only as faithful as their options. Women are only as faithful as their past sexual partners. Make sense? Who said no? Dang, you. what the heck? That's nigga a was good point. Dang. That's a no. <laughs> she did agree with everything. Yeah, she it's like very, I don't know, like you moving off of experience and then you moving off no, of no, very feminine based just, mind. Like no, no, just, this isn't feminine. This is extremely like masculine. What part do you think of my mindset is feminine? All of it. What part? You got to name one. You're, you're moving, you're moving as if we're just sexual beings you keep so, talking about us as sexual beings. no one said that like a, a woman is just sexual beings i always said that i've said it on a podcast i think three times when a woman meets a man she has to add value to the man outside of sex in order to retain that man so does a man well the man was already adding value outside the sex because that's how he got the sex right gotcha that makes sense. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> but so is a woman. So I have a question. Yeah. When you say that men are mm -hmm. only as good as their options, only as faithful as their oh, options. Yeah, no, and as... most, I'm not. This is a general yeah. standpoint. Yeah, I'm not I saying understand. all. Yeah. I have a question. So, if a man is only as faithful as his options, right? And like you said, a man doesn't need riz and the emotion how women do when they are. When yeah, they we do. don't got to be rizzed up. So if, <laughs> okay, so say if you're a man, right? And you have this woman, right? But this is the woman you love because of whatever. This is the one you want to protect, whatever the case may be, right? And there's another woman that you slept with or whatever, but, you know, you don't have the riz, emotion, whatever, for that woman. Why do men continue to go to that woman, though, if they have the one that they actually like? If there's a different one, that's more of their, like, number one spot, if that makes sense. Okay. Why do they continue to affect the number one spot in their relationship with that one to continue to be with the one that they don't have it is it because it's easier like i don't i'll explain it to you yeah. in a way so you could understand it mm -hmm. when you meet a man and he's making forty thousand dollars a year you want him to have ambitions to make more right 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 you always going to want your man to have ambitions to you to do better and to keep mm -hmm. better in himself because when he better his himself the byproduct of that is that you receive those benefits <laughs> of you know of him bettering himself so it's like natural in you for you to always to want something continuous of your man better himself. That's your hypergamous nature because you look for quality, right? A man's uh, nature is quantity. So it's just a uh, men, men that we want v different options. Mm -hmm. We're as faithful as our options. So sometimes we may want some strain sometimes. We don't know why. I'm not saying this how it should be. Right. I'm not speaking from a should. Right. I'm speaking from it how is. it is standpoint. Mm -hmm. So when we're speaking about morality and stuff like that, should a man be doing that? No, a man shouldn't be doing that. But do men do that? We all know that the they interest. do. I think that's what it is. Because like, I think a lot of men, too, sometimes they get a woman and they think they, oh, yeah, like I, I, well, I want to have sex with her or whatever. And I think it's the excitement and the wonder. And then once they got it, it's kind of like, all right, now I'm bored. Now I want something new. I think men, like, enjoy, like, newness, if that makes sense. Nothing is better. Well, the best pussy in the world is new pussy. Yeah, I think it's the excitement for something new. You agree, Giovanni? Uh, say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is better than new pussy. This shit is You disagree? Yeah, this shit is ridiculous. Okay. Well, what, why would you disagree? I, I think if you have, like, a good loyal woman there, you know. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, that's the one thing you could say that's better. But if we're talking about like that natural proclivity that a man, that natural tendency mm -hmm. that a man has, I mean, 
The best bitch. The is best an pussy is genuine bitch. pussy. Like the yeah. best pussy is when two people genuinely love each other and they're fucking like. The best Rabbit. pussy is a fucking. Like, I feel like your number one spot is going to be the one willing to do the most because yeah. you're going to be most comfortable. Emotionally. Yeah. I feel like when you have more emotional sex, you're willing to take it a little step further than with somebody that is just like a yeah. real quick. Well, 5. that isn't true. I'm speaking from a how it is standpoint. How it should be, I agree with him. Oh, how it should be is that, yeah. How it is in PA? Best, well, well, no, this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. How it should be mm-hmm. is what he said. The best pussy is the girl that's loyal you and you have a genuine connection with the woman. Cool. How it is, we all know that men go through, they'll climb a mountain to get some new poon, right? They'll do the, go the extra mile. Oh, they, they in a relationship with a girl, the girl live, he live in somewhere, the girl live an hour and a half away. He'll try to get out of work early to get the poon. He'll do everything to try to get that poon. So we all think about all the celebrities and stuff like that and all the things, the, the cheating scandals that we hear about the sexuality, sexual cravings that men have. Think about OnlyFans, stripper, cl- strip clubs, porn sites. Why is it so big? Because men just have this natural proclivity to crave quantity, sex, 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 sex. Why do you do you think that when men watch porn, they just keep watching the same porn? Oh, I like this girl. I'm going keep watching. No, they go to the big booty porn. They go to the dominatrix <laughs> porn. They go to the midget porn. They watch all type of crazy stuff because like, oh, I've seen this. So I want to watch something crazy. It, that's just how it is. Not how it should be, but that's how it is. Just like how it is for a woman. You just want the best man. Why don't you want to settle? Think about it. I'm not saying, well, why don't you want to settle? Just settle. Just take the yeah, dude. Like take the dude that's on the 6'4". Are... You want a 6'4", nigga? No, just take the dude that's 5'9". He's going to love and care for you and show you a good, respectable life and never cheat on you. But he's five nine. But guess what? It's just something in you. I can't do it. He's five nine. It's something in his ah new poon. Like, I Make think, sense. So maybe like this nigga know I'm spitting back there. Men, <laughs> men or women are like complete, completely opposite. Because I feel like yeah, like I just feel like oh. it's just never gonna work. I feel like we're completely opposite. Can we respond to the 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 comment question though? Like Can- why that guy didn't commit to you can we move on i to, think to that the, was a good question to the real shit we over the relationship shit can we talk about aliens if they real or not <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I feel like we're never gonna come to yeah, a complete like understanding feel, because men like and women very strongly of, of his opinion you we're never gonna come to a com- men and women you are never going to you come to a complete understanding yeah and we're, that's we're okay, different so let's move on so let's move on i think that's we're different just, and that's the beauty just, of finding someone and falling in love because y'all are two different people like you. and y'all are trying to find the same interest and y'all are sharing like parts of yourselves that are that y'all can i don't know how to explain it like it's like it's two it's different like finding, people that are just trying a needle on a stack of hay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Well, we didn't even get past that question. <laughs> Do y'all want to move on from that question yeah, at the hey. super chat? Mm-hmm. I don't think that they even have like the. They didn't even really understand the question. Understand the question. Okay. Explain it. Correctly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. let's get to the question real quick. And you, I think you did answer. So no, let's. Never got the answer. You never got the answer. Okay. So what? Uh, Alpha Traits is saying, think about a man in your past that how you looked at him, he was like a high value man. And why did and that guy that you truly the guy that you love, respect, and admire, why don't you think he committed to you? Because I kept leaving. Fair enough. What about you, Bella? Um, because we were young. Fair enough. What about you? What if I was the one who didn't want to commit to him? Why you just got well, men it? give out commitments. <laughs> Women give out sex. Not necessarily. Well, in, well. A, in, a, in a sense, yeah. But a nigga gonna fuck with you. He gonna fuck with you. Why do Why do he gotta decide when when, when he wanna commit? Was he begging? F- well, think about it. He was. No. Well, not even that. <laughs> think about it. If you give your box up to a man and he's hitting it, you gave up your primary agency to that man. Right. The man never gave up his primary. His primary agency isn't dick. His primary agency is his commitments, right? A woman that he's going to settle down with and try to, you know, make the most out of his life to provide that girl a good lifestyle. And I give pussy to everybody else, too. Yeah, so kind of but like, when you give pussy to everybody else, you lo- you lose your value. Just like you wouldn't respect a man that was just trying to marry, marry every woman. Oh, yeah, every guy, so every woman... 
every woman a guy met, he's just like, oh, well, I want to marry you. I want to marry you. His, his marriage wouldn't mean nothing. It holds no weight because any woman can get it, right? Just like a woman that's out there slanging her vagina, well, it doesn't mean much because any guy could get it. I don't know. I had a good guy and I didn't want to cuff, so. He wanted to cuff and I didn't want to cuff, so. Fair enough. That's me. You could be an exception to the rule. Maybe. Um, There's different men around the world. They're all not the same. Well, truly, I think that if you wanted me to truly give my perspective, Stamped, you're saying that he wanted to commit. I think that that was just game. He no. was just saying the things that you wanted to hear to make you feel the vibe. So then he, you could kind of feel like you. He, he trying to trying to keep you in sex zone. That's some things that guy do to keep a woman in sex zone so we can continue to hit you it. We're gonna say those emotion. things that you want to hear. That's, like, yeah, girl, I, I, yeah, I want you. Yeah, that's not the point. If it, but he know he's slacking anyway, and he's not really trying to do those certain things in a relationship that you really want, but he's just gonna say it. If but nigga, he's not doing it. If That's risen you up. If a nigga don't have to do nothing to fuck and he's continuously fucking, he's not going to put in more work. So that that's going against what you're saying. He's not gonna continuously put him like more work if he already fucking. No, it's like no the, the incorrect. Pussy already there. We want to assure that not vagina is always the pussy there. Already, the pussy already there. I didn't have to no, no, no. no, no. fuck this bitch. I'm finna take no. this bitch out. I don't gotta do that. I just fucked her on the first night. I don't gotta do none of that. I don't have to prove my point. I don't have to prove nothing to this bitch. I just fucked on the first night. But if he, he likes that, that pussy, he gonna keep doing he little shit just yeah, to keep getting back to you. He is. He is. He is. But saying. he not gonna do as much as if he, he gonna, 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 gonna wipe you. He gonna exactly. sprinkle. My yeah, point. That's what I'm saying. He was just sprinkling that yeah. sauce on you, you, baby. Text him a couple days, he probably gonna text you like, oh, I ain't hear from you. Just to make sure Steve you respond. Let's move it right along. Uh, Woo, what you think? So you had a guy in your past and, you know, the dude that you really love, respect and admired. Why don't you think he committed to you? I don't think he committed to me because I didn't get along with his family. Oh, well, fair enough. What about you, Ayla? I, I mean, I've only been in, I've been in three relationships and yeah. they committed. So I don't know. Oh, you broke up with all three? Yeah. Oh, we're okay, talking about. Enough. Oh, well, I'm talking about somebody I was with, but we we didn't. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Didn't yeah, last. So I mean, was it ever a guy? If it was someone who I didn't like date and love. Um, I, I think it was because I had like a young mindset. Like I was childish. Okay, you was childish. Yeah. Okay, so we got some super chats in here to read, but um, I want. Do you got any questions you got for the ladies before I get read the rest of the super chats? No. I'm good. Okay, I'll finish the super chats then. Uh, so uh, book uh. D did it <laughs> sent in nine dollars hey he just i'm um, sent in a dollar he just sent in a dollar with no comment um uh bet bassett sends in ten dollars ladies do you think a woman in her 40 uh in her 40s is the same as a guy in his 40s in the dating market okay so ladies do you think a woman is the same a woman that's 40 and a man that's 40 is the same in the dating market let's start with ayla no and why? Um, because kind of what we've been talking about, I feel like like a woman or a woman could get a guy a lot easier than a man can. I don't really think it depends on her age. I feel like a woman at any age, if she looks good, could get any guy. Can get any guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got something for that? Yeah, you're gonna wait. I don't think that's true. I think that you know when you do reach a certain age, your options get very limited, and you. You're confusing attention and sex for commitment. So oh, that's that's a fact. No, that's yeah, a fact. So the, the likelihood that you're a 40 year old woman and you're going to get a man of quality to commit to you is, is very low. You're going to end up doing what she says she doesn't want to do, and that's settle. Yeah, Facts. I was speaking or thinking sexually. Commitment wise, yeah, no, I, I don't think they would. I agree with that. Okay. Uh, woo. Same question for you. Do you think uh, a woman in her 40s is the same as a guy in her 40s in the dating world? I would say no, just because I feel like women and men are a little bit different. I think men like younger women just because they, I don't know, I think a lot of men don't like mature women. And not to say that they don't like them, that they don't like to commit to them. Just because certain things that mature women have expectation-wise, they don't want to have to provide. And I think another thing, too, a lot of women, and especially 40 years old, a lot of women have children. And I think a lot of men don't, they want the woman, but they don't want her, you know, what comes with that. And I think it's easier for a woman to accept a man with kids than vice versa. Okay. True, but somebody 40 is probably have older kids, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> They still have kids. Like my mom, I have my mom has a boyfriend. I don't get along with it. Hold your mom. My mom is fifty six. Uh, what about you? 
What do you think? Uh, do you think a woman in her 40s and a man in his 40s is the same in a dating world? Yes. Why? Because they both old as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, y'all okay. both done been ran through. Y'all both done had kids. Y'all both is old as shit. Like, uh, well, let's talk a, about it. A man can't be ran through. A man is always ran through. A man, a man runs got through. Community dick. No, a man That's runs through. through. No, he can't a man be ran through. through. What what a woman allows it's him to It's not run even through. logically possible. That's a that's a nonsensical argument. Okay. So, do you have a penis to put inside someone? No, I do. I, do. I can run through all of you. <laughs> Multiple straps. <laughs> I a man can run through I can every. Run through a man can run through. A men, men run through women. Women can't run through no man. She got to open up her legs and get ran through. Okay. It's just different. Like the just the biology, since we have penises and you have vaginas, you can't dominate us at all. We do the dominating. Not at all. And think about it. Actually, we can agree to disagree. But not even not even agree to disagree. Think about it. When you actually meet a guy that you like <laughs> to some degree and you start to have this chemistry and you guys have sex, he you, you submit to that man. He has the ability to do everything to you and you like it put you in a chokehold smack you hard do crazy things to you and you're like oh you're getting turned on about it like think about that you're fully submitting your body and your will to another individual we don't submit our body and our will to no individual yes, like what do. even if a chick is riding eight. us y'all be sitting there getting your ass eight. going in it's like yeah shorty you're still getting dominated it's a hammer and a nail but um Nigga anyways get ass eight. Yeah, well, that's that, me dominating you. That's, that's, that oh, isn't dominating. That's domination. No, you you that's sitting there like no, a little look, bitch with your legs up. That's a different your D ass word. Like a fucking that's a bitch. different. That's, that's a different domination. D word. That's Let's a, talk about it. That's a Let's different D word. That's disgusting. That's not disgusting. <laughs> that's some freaking shit, right? You ain't never had it. You, you know, know some men like getting tied up and getting their dicks. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tied up. Tied up and getting their dicks. Bondage. Yeah. Some. A lot of men. A lot of men like being. Because they ran through. They want some strange. Because they ran through. Oh, that's a, a, lot, a lot of men with fetishes strange. who like to be told. There's a lot of men with fetishes who like being told that their dick's little, that they're ugly. Like that shit turns them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have OnlyFans. This is this is what men oh, that's in what my they be saying. DMs. So they be like, yeah. call me little penis. Yes, head. they literally will be like, can you? I will pay you to call my dick little. You yeah. probably be the one messaging them, don't it? <laughs> like, girl, I handle the messaging for these niggas. Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, facts. Of course, he's freaky ass. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly, Bella. So, same question to you, Bella. Um, do you think a woman in her forties and a man in his forties is the same in the sexual marketplace? Um. I feel like, yeah, because if they don't have kids, it might be a little harder to find somebody who wants to start a family with them at an age like that. So it's probably harder for them to find people with the same interests and the same like family mentality. Okay, so thinking the same. What about you? Um, yeah. Things the same. Why? Um same because it's the age and yeah got it okay fair enough uh so we got two think is the same you said it's different right yeah you said it's i say it's different different and then we got it the same so three the same two different i'll uh, have you uh land it home for us regarding the point yeah regarding the point if it's the same not i mean again i hear all y'all perspectives but it's, it's just simply not the same you know, again, men, what makes a man valuable is the things that were acquired over time. You sit there and say, um, it's, it's the same, but it's not. Like he talks about ran through and running through. Who controls access to sex? You or the man? You. That's a woman. All right, so he had to do something to gain access. So therefore, it's more valuable. There's nothing valuable about you giving something away. He had to earn that value to gain access. Okay. That's saying the that. Saying Women have to yes, like why do why you can't just go and fuck a nigga because I want to fuck a nigga? Like why do y'all keep saying that? You gotta like him, you gotta do this, you gotta no, do that. No, I don't. don't. I can go out, I can get drunk, and I can fuck this nigga today. And okay, I'm so so it's very easy for you to do that. She no, no, won't even do it. Step out and just go have sex with any guy. Yes, girl. They, no, she said that we let me call my homie. Would you clap my homie? I got my homie. He'll come through right now. You gonna you gonna smash? 
Oh, exactly, you not. Know. So therefore, but guess what? I don't want to fuck it. Guess what? I want to fuck right now. But exactly what we're saying, you, you, you you're not just going to be promiscuous to that high level of degree of how I your imagination like is. You have more. standards. You're not just going to give your poon to anybody. Right. Uh, you have to like the guy to a degree to have sex with him. That's what we're saying. And since you have to like the guy to a degree, the man has to meet that degree. Make sense? You have true. to like the guy to a degree. No. That man has to meet that degree. So that means that he has to bring value to you in order to have sex because you have a degree. Just like men, we hold the relate we hold the key to relationships. In order for you to get commitment from me, well, you have to meet my uh, relationship commitment degree. You have to meet the standard. Makes sense. Is is just you think like life is a fairy tale and things just come and go and you're God and you control everything. No, it's not a fairy tale. It's a, it's a realist. If I want to go and fuck a nigga today and not think about him tomorrow, I can go and fuck a nigga today and not think about him tomorrow. You could, but yeah, that's that, straight that like that. You, did you, it might not be did coming, you but it's ever really be coming for it. Yes, I have. I've okay. had one night stands. You've never had one night stands? Okay, so you telling me that you had a one night stand? But a nigga I didn't even want. And, no, no. Let's think about the one night stand. So, how many one night stands did you have? One or two? I don't know. Okay, let's just say you had one one night stand. Let's go with that. <laughs> with the one night stand that you had, with the and I'm gonna let you finish your point too. My bad, bro. With the one one night stand that you had, uh, where was it? How did you meet this individual? Did you already know him before, or you met him that night? Obviously, I met him that night. Okay, and where was it at? Was it at a club? Maybe it was a, a club. Social situation. Yep. Sure. Well, well, you you let me know. Let's speak specifically. We don't got to talk about names, but We're I want to know. Speak specifically. Let's speak hypothetically. Yep, I meet him in the club. Uh, no, 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 no. We We're not gonna. Let's speak specifically to to how it happened. You had we. I don't need a name. I don't need the acts of it. I'm talking about the pre the just the pre part, right? Before it all happened. So I'm not even speaking about sex, but what it took to got took what it took to make sex happen that's what we're going to talk about so what it took part so where was it at where did you meet the guy club okay you met him at the club did okay. he uh, and was he in a vip section or how was it was he in general population he was both at a bar okay yeah i was both at a bar was he with friends or were you were you with friends he was all with friends okay you were all with friends did he know any sure. of your friends or did you know any of his nope. friends nobody knew nobody. no one knew anyone yep. okay and so how what attracted you to that guy nothing <laughs> so nothing attracted you to good. that guy. He looked good, and I want to fuck him. Okay. Well, you said that he looked good. Okay. So what about him looked good? Was he? You don't know what his height he was. What? Well, how did he dress? He was, he was cute. Okay. Explain it. This is what I'm trying to tell you. When we explain Bro, it, you're gonna see like that he, he no. had to have some type of value. He didn't have no. He don't have his to have no type of value. Okay. 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 So his for looks, looks okay. for, for looks for a man, he has to meet the value to you. So okay. your attraction, your attraction triggers is unique to you. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's very unique to you. So he had to meet that, whether if it's height, whether it's the way he his swag, the way he walks and conveys himself and and speaks. So he had to meet that. The fact that he has to still meet something that's unique to you proves the point that he's you have to, he you liked him to a degree because other people didn't meet those things. Bro, to that's you. vice versa with a male as well. A male has to like something about you for him to fuck you too. No, he's not fucking on a prostitute. That's not true. He's not fucking on a bitch off the street. That's like, oh, let's fuck this bitch just because I want to fuck this bitch. Exactly. No, he's gonna no, fuck that's bitch and be like. Maybe I don't want to be Sweetie, men would have sex with a girl that's a 400 that pound obese well. That's disgusting. Y'all don't stress in none. That's, that's where I'm at. Like, you know, like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what a man would do. So it's it's totally different. You're you're thinking that the man and the woman is the same. The man is and the woman is the same. Attraction is asymmetrical. It isn't symmetrical, meaning that what you find attractive in a man, the man doesn't find those same things attractive back in you. At all. It's just not how it goes. Okay. And also, we don't have to like a woman because we don't get dominated. You get dominated. <laughs> but anyways, we got some more super chats. Hey, uh, actually, you want to finish up your point or you want me to move on? I was just basically saying that any one of you can go into a club and easily, without question, know that you, if you wanted to, you could bring a man home like that. 
You don't have to really put any effort in. All you have to do is give them attention, flirt with them a bit, boom. Yeah. Most men that go into a club don't have the ability to just go in there, get a girl to come home with them. They have to be good looking. They have to be charming. They have to learn how to talk to you. They have to have you know certain vibe or energy about them that you like, that you find attractive, that you even give them the shot. That's how it is in nature. If you really think about it, like even when it with animals, like the guy is always trying to impress the female and the female picks out of whoever she wants. And that's even in nature. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, so yeah I'm saying I agree with the point. No, no, yeah, I'm okay. saying I agree with your and point. she doesn't but agree what, with what it. What you were saying, too, like how men... um. Like, and, and I agree with that because I feel like a lot of times men will be like, Sit back because the camera can't see me. Men will Thank be you. like, you know, oh yeah, she was ugly, but I fucked her because she had a fat ass. Like, women, if we're not attracted to you physically, it's like, and, and I'm going to say more face wise, obviously, but I feel like if we're not, like, it's harder for a woman to get horny than it is for a man. And I, I truly do believe that. I feel like it takes less for a guy to hit wherever peak for him to want to have sex then I feel like it's a lot harder to get a woman aroused than it is a guy. Yeah, men get turned on like a light switch, women yeah, get like, turned on like a dial knob. Oh, they see their girl a girl walk by or, or their woman or their wife and just by looking at her then their dick get hard. Like <laughs> dick get hard off the weight wind move. <laughs> so we can agree then. Yeah, yeah. this point. Okay, so we got some more super chats in here. So uh, uh, Leonard Ferguson sends in $10. Hey, pre appreciate your support, man. Um, we have uh, Booth Did It sent in uh, $2. He said, best way to get back at a chick, waste her time. <laughs> Ruthless. Uh, Lord Commander sends in $5. He said, so these are the women that men are killing themselves to make 100 k for, but they always talking, building empires, but can't name three countries? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nigga, you name three countries. He got... He, he, <laughs> got, <laughs> he, got, uh, he got smoke for y'all, ladies. He came for, so you can talk about me. <laughs> we, oh, here we go. We got another question. You ready? Bella? You got another question. You ready? Yeah, like, what time is it? We about to wrap up, too. We got, like, 15 more minutes. Oh, bet. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's, like, one. But, um... Red Pill Monster sends in a $2 super chat. He said, Name three Meg the Astallion, Cardi B, or Sexy Red songs. Obviously. Let's start three, with... No, three of each? No, no. Let's. It could be either or. So he says, name three of Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, or a Sexy Red song. So it could be any of those three artists, but name three songs. <laughs> Lost me. Starting with uh, Ayla. E, no. Okay. Don't know none. I can't, can't name one? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Okay. You can name some? Yeah, I can name the whole album if you wanted me to. Oh, dang. Mm. She a fan. You name just name Sexy three. Red. Hellcats and SRTs. Who was the other artist? Megan Thee Stallion. Um, Real. And Cardi B. Cardi B. Um, Bickenhead. Okay. She named three. What about you? Can you name three? No. You don't know none? Um, I know Sexy Red. Uh, bend that ass over. Make that. Mm, mm, that's that's drink. Oh, what? Sorry. <laughs> that's all I got for you. <laughs> Yeah, she was featured on it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, facts. But that's all she know. What about you, Bella? You um, I'm going to say Bongos because that's Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. So that's a double whammy right there. Yeah. <laughs> and then Sexy Red, um, I'm the shit, right? As a, Countdown, like girls. That's the song? I'm the shit? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy Red, I'm What about you? Mm -mm. You got none? Okay, moving right along. Next super chat. Uh, Lord Commander sends him five dollars. A man being ran through is him getting divorced and paying alimony to another woman. So part of his <laughs> value this. belongs to someone else. Back to this topic, huh? I mean, they don't want to let it go. You got a little point there, buddy. Uh, Wait, but yes, ran through in a different way. You want me to read it again? Uh, ran through yeah, is a divorced said, man. Who he didn't... said a man being ran through is getting divorced and paying alimony to another woman. Uh, so part of his value belongs to someone else. So, like yeah, before. that's like when a woman, she has sex with multiple men, her value belongs to other those past guys. Um, oh, Book did it. 
uh, says, you got to check the non-blacks using the N-word. I mean, book did it. Who's non-black here? She's Puerto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. Okay. She's Puerto Rican. They're our cousins. Um, <laughs> and right. at the end of the day, I don't really give a freak. Uh, if you ask me, I ain't sensitive like that. I know exactly what the I'm from the projects. I'm from the hood, bro. Uh, mm. it, of course, in my past, and when I was a young male, I was in a victim mindset and I was very sensitive to certain things. Of course, we know we, it has a history to all of this. But think about it. The N word itself. We had black people made the N word lose its power by calling other black people the n-word right. think about it back in slavery they called us the n-word and it was like dang like it, it like it like it hurt us so we took the power away was like you know what we gonna flip the switch hey my nigga you my nigga that's my nigga we flipped the switch so we we we, we you know decreased the 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 sensitivity level and the power that the word even had so y'all thinking about it and y'all thinking about it now or oh, the n-word the n-word but y'all wasn't even a slave you wasn't a slave so get out of the victim mindset mm -hmm. because you never experienced it <clears throat> yeah you maybe experienced maybe some prejudice or some racism before but at the end of the day we live in a first world country we have uh there's third world countries where they don't have clean water or food to eat. So you got to be grateful for what you have. And we live in the land of opportunity. People die to come to this country and you worried mm -hmm. about the N word. Nigga, get a job. <laughs> People get a dying, get a People dying around the world and you worried about the N word. Nigga, get a job. Wait, how much uh, do you pay just to say that comment? <laughs> like you pay just to say you, that comment? You, you, I appreciate the support book did it. You, I appreciate you. This is not the first time supporting, but increase your, uh, expand your perspective is what I'm saying. Can we go back? You don't have to be so sensitive because you're going to limit yourself. I feel like most of the time when people use that word, they're just referring to a group of men. People. I feel like yeah. people in general. And, Can, and, and if it was a white person saying it on a podcast, I don't think a white person would be saying it on a podcast. I don't, I don't I've that. never had yeah. a white person yeah. saying it, say it on a podcast. These is Puerto Ricans. Can we go back to cousins. the topic of uh, Adam and Eve? Oh, you had a <laughs> okay. Uh, before we get that. to that topic, Damn, um, that was yeah. Let's get back so into that real quick. So long ago. Yeah. Let's before get back into we that real quick. Uh, get to any topic, I'm gonna leave it to um, my special guest on the panel. Did you have anything that you wanted to get into, man, or any questions or uh, comments you want to make on anything? Yeah, no, I didn't come here with any pre-planned questions. Like I said, I was just gonna kind of go with the flow. Go with the flow. Okay, okay so, man. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's just flowing really. Um, I think I only had like one question, and then everything else was ya. Yeah talking and then the super chats coming in and asking questions um so it seems like the energy is maybe a little bit down so it's been get, a long night yeah, it's yeah. been a long night yeah. fair enough we, so get like energy up. do y'all think that the adam and eve topic that y'all want to get into will maybe get the energy up or which i think yeah <clears throat> i forget what bella even okay cool eve. well let's get into it let's start it with uh what's your name again okay okay like, like the letter oh did she say that in the beginning of the I'm podcast sure did. yes she did okay Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long. It's been a long night. Okay, fair Everybody enough. So, uh, chat, um, before the podcast started, uh, Kay, I guess she was talking about some Adam and Eve stuff. Um, I didn't know what they were talking about, but I was like, well, whatever you're saying now, let's just save it for the podcast. So, Kay, go ahead and bring up the topic of Adam and Eve, and then we'll uh, make a discussion of it. So, but Gio, you want to pick, kind of piggyback on that topic a little bit because you were yeah, kind I of, had a statement, but yeah. I think for the audience to understand my statement, they would have to understand your standpoint in the comment that you made about Eve. Oh, well, yeah. So, comment. yeah. So, make your um, how he's a snake. She's well, a bitch. Not necessarily say that. I don't necessarily say that. Well, we said it was Adam's fault. We said it was Adam's fault. I said we, that. Yeah, that and I agree with you. Not cut me off because yeah. you know, I was saving for the I podcast, said, right? Okay, so yeah, so state your statement so the audience knows. I don't really and have. Then, a, I didn't really have a statement. No, state your position or your with, comment about it. I was kind of agreeing with him that, in a sense, that Adam fucked it up for all of us. But we were mostly saying that, that Eve, no. Eve fucked it up for us because yeah, she ate she, that. Right, but she, she ate that. The one. man fell into yeah, right, the man fell into temptation. So, but the men men fall into so temptation. I'll just, so I'll just say, it's not even just what they said. You know, it's always just men being like, "Oh, 
blame Eve. You know, everything is her fault. It's the woman's fault. She couldn't resist temptation. She lived in paradise. She had a direct correlation and relationship with God. And she still wasn't satisfied. She still wanted more. It's Eve's fault for the downfall of man and the disconnect between humans and God. Now, definitely hold Eve accountable. She was absolutely stupid. She couldn't control her urges. 100%. Hold Eve accountable. She's dumb. But at the same time, Adam was there. This is the part that most people don't talk about. Adam lacked leadership. He lacked the masculinity, mm -hmm. the, the balls to be like, what are you doing? Don't do that. He right. didn't interrupt. He allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. So again, where you talk about leadership, leadership, you have to take accountability. Meaning that when, when your child makes a mistake, who's responsible? You. You. So that's the part of being a leader. It's all Adam's fault. So you can you can, men want to sit here and point all the you know anger and blame on women. You got to you got to hold Adam accountable as well. That that was my, that was my point. Fucking okay. Adam, man. Who had a uh, uh, point on that? No one. No one. I had did, any? but I, I think forget. It's over, yeah, it was I think so it's... long ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have we, a... That would have been. Yeah. so We should have started the podcast. Yeah. yeah. We should have started the podcast off. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I forget now. I'm so asking them. Okay. This shit. Like, yeah. Everybody's yeah. like, mm. I mean, I could put my standpoint on it. Yeah, my standpoint is is a little bit differently from yours. I do of course it is. get where you're. Who said that? Can you... <laughs> Go ahead. So I do get what you're saying, where it's like, okay, Adam lacked leadership. He should have been leading the woman and protecting her from the serpent, mm -hmm. right? So um, that that means that, okay, Adam should have been protecting her from the serpent. I look at it a little bit differently, right? Because God made man in his image. And Adam, God, God created Adam first. Eve was created from Adam's rib as a helpmate mm -hmm. to help out Adam. So in a sense, yeah, Eve then has responsibility and authority to be protecting her, right? But God also gave agency to both, right? He gave agency to both because even if Eve ate the apple, Adam didn't have to eat the apple. Eve would have been living in damnation and then society just would have never, you know, uh, you know, probably they would have never uh, had any babies and it would have never been a human population. <laughs> Eve would have just been a righteous man and just wouldn't have procreated with her because she would have been tainted from eating the apple. Adam didn't have to eat the apple. So I look at it much differently. So how I look at the Adam and Eve story is women are easier influence than men. They're just, you know, susceptible, more susceptible creatures and they're easy, easily to be, to be molded to. You could sell something much easier to a woman. Women tend to be very agreeable creatures. Easier to manipulate. So easier to manipulate. Um, so the serpent mm -hmm. couldn't influence Adam at all. He didn't have the ability to. Adam was Teflon. <laughs> Teflon. He had a Teflon vest on. The serpent couldn't influence him at all. But the serpent could influence Eve. Now, we're, what this story tells us is that outside, how I look at it is like this. Women have to be careful of outside influences because they're more susceptible to it. And men have to be careful of women because men are more susceptible of being influenced by women because the serpent never influenced Adam. Eve influenced Adam. You get it? So how I look at it is, well, now when we put it all together, God made Adam and God made Eve. Eve ate from the ate from that forbidden fruit and then gave the fruit to Adam and then Adam ate it. So Eve influenced Adam. So let's put it all together again. I'll say it. Women have to be very susceptible to outside influences because they're easily, they're much easily to be influenced by outside influences. And men are very susceptible to be influenced by women. That's why a man uh, fall quick for a girl with a small waist and a fat booty, but he's married. Well, Dean, I need, uh, I, I, I want, yeah, I want to act in my natural propensity and, and have quantity. Well, yeah, I know you naturally want to do that, but it is that that isn't that isn't the moral thing. You get what I'm saying? God wants you to have be obedient and to have discipline. So even though you have these natural urges, well, your morality should come into place and you shouldn't act on your natural <laughs> urges. That's what's moral. That's literally the definition of morality. So it's being disciplined. So both of them enacted on their natural 
you know, pro proclivities and that's why we're living in sin now. So I just look at it differently. I don't think that Adam actually messed up because he wasn't protecting Eve. I think that Adam messed up because he was influenced by Eve. Yeah. Can I say my judgment sure. on that? Going by your story, um, I think that... Oh, and once again, every is everybody going to have... I'm not saying that I'm right yeah, or he's wrong. Yeah, everybody going to have their own perspective of this. Yeah, I, I disagree. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody going to have their own perspective. We, we This is Bible debates. People are always going to have their own perspective of this. So I'm not saying that what I'm saying is facts. This is how I perceive it. Yeah, and me, my man over here, either. he perceives yeah, it yeah. that way. But I understand his perception of it, yeah, too. Because, again, I'll add on to that. You know, I'll also say, like, yeah, I get everything you, you're saying. It's very valid points. But I would just disagree to the point where... It's like Adam could have stopped it, and he did it. And I think that again, if he was really leading and he was really in his masculine essence, and he really was like the man he should be, he should have, you know, brought her up in a way where she wasn't so easily manipulated. Like she was able to control temptation and things like that. And if she did fall victim to that, yeah, you know, even under his coaching. He still could have stepped in and been like, what are you doing? You're seeing what's happening. You're seeing the trap being set by the serpent and you don't in interfere. That means you're not protecting. Yeah, but but Adam didn't tell Eve to, to eat from the forbidden fruit. God told Eve and Adam not to eat from the uh, from the forbidden fruit. So Eve didn't disobey uh, Adam, she disobeyed God. So it was like she, <laughs> Adam was, they had, it was only two people and it was God. So God gave these orders. She disobeyed God and he diso, she disobeyed God by listening to the serpent. He disobeyed God by listening to her. That's all I'm saying. So do you agree? Do you, would you agree that it's a man's job to protect a woman from making poor decisions that would threaten the relationship or it's, it's always the man's job. But my point is this, when we're, we're speaking about, this is a very, very unique situation mm. where it's only two human beings. And then there's God literally talking to human beings. Like they spoke to God, you know what I'm saying? Like God gave them direction yeah. and they disobeyed from it. So what I'm saying is a woman has, women and men have agency. Cause it wasn't, God never said, uh, Adam, don't let Eve bite from the apple or you have, you know, this and this. He looked at him. You both have agency, meaning that you have responsibility and you have authority. Uh, you have responsibility and you have a degree of authority with, which in between one another and, and within life. So with that, that's agency. So if you have responsibility, you have to have accountability. So what you're saying is you would be stripping all the accountability away from Eve and putting the accountability on Adam, which then refutes the part of women having agency. You get what I'm saying? So a woman needs to have agency so that think about it. We can men and women, since we're speaking about the Bible, we all have access to receive the Holy spirit and have a relationship with God. That's our agency, right? So if how you're saying it, if, you know, Eve didn't have any agency, the man should just be protecting and doing everything. That's no agency. That's no responsibility. That's no authority. Then it's like, well, how does she even have access to God if she does? Do you think that God would even grant access to, to him if a person doesn't have responsibility or authority and, and can't take accountability? Those people don't have access to God because they're animals. <laughs> so are you saying that? Would you agree or disagree that Adam shouldn't have stepped in? So, so it's not a, I don't believe that it was even a situation where, okay, you saying that if it is a situation where he could step in. Well, cause in the Bible, it doesn't, it's pretty much says that Adam was there. Yeah. They, so that means he's witnessing the act happen. So what I I'm saying, I don't I think, think that he should have actually, he was there though. I think yeah, she bit from the apple. I, I had a, um, you got your phone on you, pull it out. Let's see can, if you can, can, I get my point out. Yeah, yeah, we pull it out. Get your point in. We'll try to pull this up for the chat. Um, in the beginning, God created Adam first. So that was the issue right there is the fact that Adam had he was given the land like you do this. Then he created Eve. So for I don't I don't know how many nights Adam had in there, but he knew where not to eat from and where to eat from, which is why I kind of agree. I, I agree with both of you guys, of course, because it all follows through. But um when uh, God gave the land, he gave the land to Adam. So, yes, I feel as though um, Adam should not have bit the apple. 
which is why I agree with you in because mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you shouldn't be easily influenced because at the end of the day, God gave you the leadership. God gave you the land. So now you allow somebody else to you allow. It could have been another man that ate an apple. You allow somebody to now change your whole thing you got going on to now you can't even run this land. No, y'all can't even be here no more. Y'all got to run out there now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's more, it's, it's more so like he had a leadership role. He was supposed to take initiative with that. That, that is, I think the problem, these not the problem, but I think the problem that stemmed from them is the initiative, being able to be assertive in your position. We all have a choice, which is called volition. We all have a, a our own God's, our own will to do what we please. So if we have that, that means we need to make make the decision to either make the right decision or the wrong decision. He shouldn't ate from the apple. He had, you know, all whatever. Yeah. So. So basically, he let another woman fuck his shit up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's and an interesting perspective, but I also want to clarify one thing. Like, I'm not disregarding yeah, and not holding women accountable. Like I said, I, well, I said it in the very beginning. Definitely hold we Yeah, both for wrong. She was because stupid God talked to her too. for doing what she did. Yeah. I mm-hmm. just think that with Adam being present, and I could be wrong. Like, again, I'm not like some Bible expert. But if he was there, I think that he should have interjected before, you know, the... The situation that happened that's all i'm saying i'm not saying don't hold eve accountable i'm saying that go ahead come to the mic if you got a question might as well hop in hey uh chat let me just let the chat know hey uh we got bella boyfriend on here he, hey, he was in the back MC the rock star MC the rock star. <laughs> he was in the back uh go ahead you had a question on adam yeah, and eve so, sure so like if Adam came first, right? So he's on the land first. He sees all the animals. He sees the sun come up. He sees the moon. Before Eve even gets set's foot, right? So is Adam weak for falling victim to a woman's pers- persuasion, even though God gave him the will to run the land first? Mm-hmm. Because that means that's exactly what I said. Men, yeah. Mm-hmm. That means we're weak as men because we put in layman's terms, pussy over God. Exactly. And I said exactly what I said before. It's the fact that Eve made another source, her God. Think about it. The serpent, when Eve listened to the serpent, the serpent became her God. Mm -hmm. When Adam listened to Eve, Eve became his, Eve became his God. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So God, we all know that God is a jealous God. Don't worship any other God. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to be obedient to me. So that's why I'm saying it's like he, we both he but he gave both humans agency adam and eve mm-hmm. but within his agency is like ah if you turn away from what i say you are doomed so at the end of the day i i understand everyone's perspective this is just my perspective i'm not saying that it's right but my standpoint is pretty much what homie agreeing with is like yeah you know Eve, she she got to take accountability for eating the apple and adam has to take accountability for listening to eve that's so, how I look at it. So women run the world. No, 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 no. no. Man, no if any, <laughs> if anything, it's like uh, other outsources run the world because that influenced <laughs> that those other outfluences. And this, this kind of what's funny is it kind of ties into everything we talk about, like dating and relationships, right? Like how men have these preferences and these standards for their woman. Like if I'm in a relationship with a woman, then if I'm not creating her worldviews and molding her, then someone else is then molding her, right? So then even before I get with her, me and you meet, Wu, you've already been molded by society, your parents, and the things that you've experienced, right? right. Now say what you've been molded by, what created your worldview was nonsensical, illogical, and just you know, wasn't morally good. But then you meet me and I find a liking to you. And I'm like, hmm. I need her to get on my program. So I need her to adopt my world of view, right? And guess what? When women are younger, they're able to adopt someone's world view because they experience less. This is a reason why men are just attracted to younger women. That's what I see. Because That's what it's I see. like, mature, they you're, want mature women. yeah, you're, it's not even they, mature. No. It's not even like mature. We don't want a woman that's trapped in her ways and a woman that has baggage. The more you experience, that's baggage for us, right? So, 
as a man, the reason why we look for inexperience is because we want, we one, we want to be a leader and the woman wants us to be a leader. We have a higher probability of leading the relationship and leading the woman if she's less experienced and not trapped in all these other w ways and wasn't molded by all these other men, jobs and traumas in her life. I agree, men. A lot of men like when their woman is similar to them. Similar in ways, but not even similar. Just can get on this program and, and be kind and sweet and submissive and, you know, let's have a good time. You don't have to have anything in common with me. Like, so my girl doesn't have to have anything in common with me as long as, you know, she's submissive and follows my lead and we have chemistry and we have this, you know, good moral standards. Our morals align. We could be pretty okay. You could go ahead and watch the Kardashians and I'll go ahead and watch Dragon Ball Z and I'll be fine. We don't got to watch the same shows and stuff. If like those little things. So men like women with blank canvases so they can paint their picture on it. Exactly. And women, guess what? And women like men with the canvas already That's painted. What I'm <laughs> like women, you want the men, like men to have it all. Women like men with the tool brush, the paint, the canvas. And that picture better skin. be me. It's already made. Right. Like you want that nigga <laughs> to have the picture have up on the wall. You gotta have the supplies <laughs> to paint the picture that's y'all like. I think that's because a lot of times, and I noticed this, like a lot of times when a guy has a blank canvas, he don't want you to paint his picture. And like a lot of times the guys are guys have a lot of pride. And like Oh no, no, you keep talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Men have a lot of pride and I feel like they don't want you to help them paint their picture. Guys have like a Can mindset. You see where she at? Guys have like a mindset of like no one could tell me what to do. I'm a grown man. I take care of myself. But they're like they don't want to hear anybody else's opinion. Not their mom. Not whoever they're with. Not their siblings. Like they don't want to listen to what other people say. They want to paint their own picture. And I feel like that's kind of that's frustrating. Like no no woman wants to be with a guy who's just stuck in like his head and he runs everything. We about to, to do last everything. thoughts. So just have her to you know come back so we could do last. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That was all I was saying. That was it. Okay. Yeah. Like I just feel like guys like. And it's not to say I want to take a guy with a blank canvas, but every time you take a guy with a blank canvas, he don't want he want to do all the painting. He don't want you to touch the brush. I'm, I don't want a man with a blank canvas. I want a man with a little bit of Yo, doodle on his canvas, and I want to take those doodles and make a picture. What? Say that again? I don't want a man with a blank canvas. I want a man with a little bit of doodles on his canvas, and I can make those doodles into a picture. Okay. No, okay. I want to erase some of the doodles. Though. Nah, we, we got a, we taking those doodles and making a picture. We, we got a super chat that came in. Alpha Trade send in ten dollars. He said Adam walked with God. He knew the goodness of God outside of Eve. When Eve ate the fruit, Adam knew that she would be separated from God. He bit the fruit for her to be with her. Exactly. Adam was simping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adam, 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 Adam wanted to clap them cheeks. No, you know what it was? You know what it was? <laughs> Eve said to him, because Eve said to him after she bit it, all the different stuff she started seeing that he wasn't seeing because mm -hmm. he didn't bite it. Yeah. Remember how she realized that they were, they realized they were naked. And that's when God said, well, how do you know you were yeah, naked? How do you know you're naked? But know. that's the thing. Eve made after she ate the fruit, she kind of painted this this new reality that he didn't experience. And I right. think based off that, it kind of dimmed his vision for God. And it kind of like, oh, well, I didn't know. I didn't know that that was an option. Right. So I feel like that it was the a new world I think opened was, up for him. Yeah, it definitely was a temptation. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, you had any last thoughts on this? No, nah. <laughs> we we about to wrap it up, man. Yeah. We about to wrap it up, dog. We <laughs> we've been rolling for too long. We've been rolling for too long, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ask me after. I appreciate um, the different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. I do appreciate the the difference. And I, it isn't that I disagree with y'all perspectives. I actually was like, ah, valid point. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, um, any other super chats? No, that was the last one. Okay, man. So we're gonna do last thoughts on the podcast. Um, so. If you do have a question, you can answer, you know, put out your last question that you have. But if you don't have a question, then give me your last thoughts, how you like it, and would you come back and starting here. Um, it was nice. This was cool. Yes, I would come back. Um, but yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was nice. Nice setting. Everything was comfortable. 
Appreciate you. We'll definitely have you back. What about you, Bella? Um, yes, it was ten out of ten experience. I love a good host who feeds us and provides us water <laughs> and liquor. Um, so yeah, I would definitely come back and yeah, catch All my right. podcast. That's a vibe. I have you go last, bro. Uh, Ayla. Yeah. Um, I would come back. I had a good time. Bird. Definitely yeah. have you back, Ayla. And yourself, Will. Um, I just started she kind of being Will. in front of the camera. Ooh. So mm. I really did enjoy it. I, I like debates. I'm a debate a debate kind of person. And not debate just to argue, but debate just for the different point of views. Because a lot of times I do get that ah uh, moment where I'm like, yeah. I don't see it that way. So did you get an ah uh, moment today from one of our perspectives? I did. I did. Especially talking. I mean, a lot of women, like, we think a lot more alike. And it's different getting a men's perspective on stuff. So <laughs> a lot of stuff where I think you guys don't have a point. You came up with stuff. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> educate cool. us. Yeah. And would you come back? Boo? Oh, yeah. No, I definitely will come back. Even though it was an hour and a half drive, it was worth it. it was good. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was definitely a vibe. And maybe yeah. uh, we would do this on maybe like a day where y'all don't got to get up and work the next morning. So, yeah, so we maybe we could correlate that and get that going. Because I used to do that before. But since I've been going live. On Saturdays, ain't nobody really trying to tune in and watch No Fugazi podcast on a Saturday. Right. right. Where are no, y'all? If y'all are, let me know. Chad, if y'all trying to watch some, uh, you want me to do a Saturday episode? Hey, let me know. I'll do a Saturday episode. Um, okay, last thoughts? No, I don't have any last thoughts. Uh, huh. How'd you like the podcast then? Uh, the podcast, it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. I felt yeah, like I we, feel was, we was running around in circles around the same topic, and I felt like you ain't really, I don't know, you feel pretty headstrong about how you feel. Okay. Very opinionated. Very, okay. Opinionated. Okay. And what do you think? Is there anything that you disagree with? Yes, I agree. I disagree with everything that you said. <laughs> Literally okay. everything, yes. So just name one thing that you disagree with. Um. Oh, what did we touch on? I guess the Adam and Eve shit. Since it was the last topic. Whoa. I, if anything, I think me and your standpoint agreed. No, you you said that it was Eve's fault. I agreed with the standpoint of what y'all had. I didn't disagree with it. I gave mm -hmm. my perspective. So the Adam and Eve thing, that we really didn't have any disagreements, I don't think. Yeah, I feel like I'm I think you guys more had a <laughs> we disagreement on the points of women and men. Yeah, okay. we just was talking about our own perspectives. Sure. And everyone gave some valid points in their yeah, perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else that you disagreed with? Everything else. It was name one thing that you disagree with. The women and men beliefs standard women and men believe the standards between women so you think that the standards between men and women are the same then because i'm saying that is different um in a sense yeah but i i, I guess i guess no no i'm not gonna contradict myself because i guess there's double standards to everything right okay so that means that you do agree with me you don't sure. disagree with that okay so then would you come back um i'm not sure Maybe you don't have to agree on everything. Maybe part the of questions a, were a little spread out. I feel like we were going around the same thing, like the same relationship thing and the money thing and the whole. You don't think so? Yeah, eh, eh, I mean, it was to get your like perspective. Looks. Maybe it took a little longer yeah, than usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe um, this was. I will come back though. Yeah. Okay. Great. Cool. We'll have you back. Good vibes. Uh, other than that, uh, we got my special guest, man. Uh, last thoughts on the. Actually, do you have any questions? If you don't, the last hey. thoughts. Hey, how'd you yeah. like it, man? <laughs> no, nah, I, I appreciate you having me on. And again, we don't have to agree on everything. It's not about coming to agreements on things. It's about hearing perspectives and having conversation and being open to conversation, listening to understand, not listening to respond. And yeah, I just appreciate hearing the perspectives and everything being very cordial, very respectful. Nobody came out their mouth. Nobody was yelling or acting crazy. Very respectful. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. And thank you for having me, man. Hey, yeah. man, I appreciate you, appreciate man. Appreciate you for having all of us for, for... Yeah, man. Uh, thank you, ladies. Um, you definitely was a vibe. Um, other than that, hey, this podcast was very no fugazi. Um, my <laughs> man uh, Instagram is tagged in the description. Follow and support my guy. Hey, you want to give any shout outs on um, anything you have going on to my supporters? Anything, Instagram shout out, any type of shout outs. Go ahead. Um, yeah, no, just, just tap into my Instagram. Stay tuned. I'm always doing something. I'm always got something in the works, something coming up. I'll be traveling here, traveling there. I'm always on, you know, working on getting on podcast. So just stay tuned. All right, man. Well, this podcast was very no fugazi and we out. It's a wrap.